<laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome hey. to Minus One Charisma. We're a Dungeons and Dragons stream. Usually, sometimes, uh, we're a uh, make fun of day stream. You, you know, stream. that happens. What? That's true. Haha, <laughs> 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 day. <laughs> Day. Uh, uh, can we make I fun of Melissa see. and Jason who like aren't oh. here because <laughs> Melissa oh, broke yeah, their are. stream? <laughs> There's Melissa's arm <laughs> and oh, Jason's oh, confused yeah. face, but uh, pixelated. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Uh, I'm not oh, imaging Edge, let's go. <laughs> this is a commercial Brought to you for imaging. Edge. Sony. <laughs> you know what? At right. least this time, it's not James. Yeah. yeah. I think I figured there. out my camera stuff. I think. I'm not 100%. Earlier today, I was testing. I, I test uh, my camera out in Kate's Discord. And every single time I do that, I get a message from Kate. Why are you in the channel alone, you freaking loser? <laughs> it's just so, you just miss us. I don't think you're actually testing it. I think you just want to hang she out with so us. so obsessed with us. It's crazy. Really cute. The room still smells like us. He goes every time I think, oh, I'll use Kate's Discord channel because that way people won't pester me uh, and I think I'm like online and my and they're minus ones. No, every single time. And it's within like a minute or two, too. Like I you have this uncanny knack to just be like watching it. your Discord all the time. <laughs> No, I just see the little thing that someone's in there and I get excited. I'm like, oh, are people actually using my voice channels? And like, am I building a community? And it's always just you. <laughs> I actually, oh. I'm like, oh, this is actually like really cool. No, it's just so disappointing. I mean, I'll down. jump into other channels. I'll, I'll jump in and be like, hey, anyone want to chit chat? And yeah, and then the, you can the talk non... to kids about Minecraft. Minecraft? <laughs> You're like. You know, when I was your age, I too had blocks. <laughs> hey, thank you for the follow. Uh, but, you know, quick question. This is totally, uh, did the new Minecraft patch with cherry blossom trees come out? It is stunning. Is it? Because I it so built a Shaders giant cherry Shaders. tree in my last town, but it was the patch before it came out. And then they announced that they were doing it. And I was like, I spent like two days building this tree. And I was a little upset that they were just like, oh, by the way, here, here's the cherry tree that looks way better. Yeah. That's it. Even oh, Minecraft yeah. likes to yeah, troll you, James. I what know. does that say about you? I'll find Mojang. I'll Even find you. Minecraft is like, ha, <laughs> loser. <laughs> freaking loser, got him. Uh, what a freaking got loser. Got him. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. I was like, there's no music playing. Oh god. Hey. Uh well then let's just uh let's just go to a recap of last time. And I think the perfect person to talk about last week is none other than Skid. Because no. of all of the <laughs> castle breaking monster madness that happened. True. Let's see if Kate was paying attention. <laughs> That's really what this is. <laughs> the one who was like doing all the things, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll see. So, last we left off, we had escaped the volcano that we were in, and we went down and we looked over the city. Sorry. And that was exactly <laughs> how we felt. The baby we dragon like, in the background. <laughs> Everything's dark, everything's all of our loved ones, our home is ruined except for me because technically I was born there, but I never really lived there. Regardless, okay, so we went over and then there was the castle where Deus is. We were like, this is where, this is where we gotta go. So we made our way down. Stealthily. Thank goodness because overhead was a giant freaking dragon. Okay, but not only a dragon, a zombie dragon flew overhead and we were like, okay, we really got to pay attention here. So we climbed up on top of the castle because there were clearly no doors or windows because castles don't have those, or at least this one doesn't. And we were trying to find a way in when the dragon, of course, spotted us. And after a brief little encounter with it, it... <laughs> got turned into a sheet by Rezek, and I, Skid, decided to make my own entrance. If there was no entrance to go through, 
damn it, I was gonna make one of them myself, so I took my and hammer. That's how Skid does it. <laughs> <laughs> Things need to get done. <laughs> I took my hammer and I bashed through the roof of the castle and we made our way in. I fell down some stairs. It's fine. We all made our way in, went down a lot of stairs, some in a manner cooler than others. <clears throat> some people just decided to walk down them. Others decided to Insane. slide down the rails like Lame. to save some time. Regardless, we all made it down the stairs and found ourselves in a weird underground kind of Circular labyrinth, if you will, with an energy bubble in the middle. Kind of like a little magical sphere orb circle in the middle that we need to find our way through because we think there are some answers lying, lying right there in the middle. Rawr. So we made our way around, saw some interesting colors that... Is this a puzzle? Do we need to do things with colors and put colors in a certain... bar? of a god stick around and find out hey. nice i think it's clear Don't you glance. didn't pay attention at all there was a water <laughs> elemental yeah we we glanced yeah. over that part well, that's fine that, okay well that was one thing but they, everything else was yeah but you like it to another plane immediately yeah yeah like, like, was like yeah. <laughs> Bye. i almost named Later. the uh episode i hate magic but it might be more just like I hate Rezik. Might be mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. one of the two. Yeah. Yep. A constant yep. thorn in your side. I'm just glad yeah, one of you played a bard who's worthless and you know really balanced the scales out. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yeah, completely worthless. Has like hardly any abilities. It's as slow as so yeah. annoying. No, like soul, soul fucking crazy ink, like fucking disabilities or anything. Exactly. No, no awesome. You pick. gave me a, a cooler power than singing. <laughs> so much cooler uh, that you, know you actually gave it up. <laughs> So yeah, yeah. I, I'm a sing. I'm a bard that can't sing, and I think that builds character. <laughs> <laughs> Which I miss. I miss the uh, day songs. I miss like day singing songs once in a while. But hmm. I guess it's a good trade, yeah. I guess. Yeah, I totally miss it too. I guess. Kidding. I'm it, kidding. She can I still mean, sing. I can still sing. Yeah. yeah. I just won't sound good. I mean, Fire. I could like. It, yeah, no, I don't know. Can you read my mind? You. I could like Games. probably sing in my head. You can do oh, that. That's okay. true. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Sending. Yeah, you can you <laughs> sing twenty-five word sonnets. <laughs> That's kind yeah. of yeah. Okay. It's like limericks. Like <laughs> <laughs> there was a wizard um, named Brezik. <laughs> hey. <laughs> now you have to finish the limerick. I really need to hear it on the fly. Nothing rhymes with Rezik. <laughs> uh, uh, Rezik. Yes. Yeah, Rezik. that was an issue uh, in the first episode, actually. Pup was like trying to think of a word that rhymed with Rezik and couldn't think of one. And then I was like, how about Rez instead to make it like easier? <laughs> and then Pup what, what said Fez. Rez? Fez. Fez. You said Fez immediately. Fez. I said yeah. Fez. Le Les. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna think this of, conversation I'm gonna come up with something. This uh, as you find yourselves in the <laughs> lower <laughs> I hear narration. swaths you hear of Cathal... 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 Anaxis. Cathal Anaxis. Cathal Anaxis. Mike Wazowski. Yeah. <laughs> Aw. Where Ooh. are you guys? I'm searching for your characters. I, I mean, can't. I'm looking for the link. I can't oh, find yeah. the link. You guys the are old, all so I'm... well hidden. Oh, there you are. <laughs> yeah, we're in the top left. Here. Are we gonna bush? In the bushes. Yeah. 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 This is. Yeah. Is there yeah, yeah. a link somewhere? There's no link anymore. Where did it go? Oh, there is. It's you know. Somewhere. Oh, we'll find it. Oh gosh. <laughs> I have. We've got to go back to the past. The past. The Hold on. I gotta. I gotta I not got give it. everyone uh, the I link. Ooh, tell us where everything is. Perfect. Yeah, there, there's the link. Thank you. I'm sorry, viewers. I would give you the link, but Kate would kill me. True. 
she's she's very um, possessive of her links. My links. No one else's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. My All lovely right. lady links. My links. Zero my links. English my words lovely lady links. Sick. Off the cuff. Did you hear that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Inspired. Uh, okay. You are all here. Uh, apparently, day is always just way off, or trust is always way <laughs> off. <laughs> Everyone's together, but trust is way off in a bush by uh, herself. I mean, this uh, is like a big ass this is a giant map like it's hard to I find was getting really distracted at the end of the last game i was so confused by the puzzle i couldn't focus <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh, let's just rehash uh, what we what we know there were three oh, corners of this uh rectangular um it's almost like a cathedral covered in this what looks like a prismatic chromatic looking uh barrier um and in each of the three corners, there was like a, a colorful hue. One was a red orb that just seemed to be floating. Uh, one was the uh, like blue, almost gem-like sapphire eyes of a dragon. There's like a dragon skull with the eyes shining blue. And the third was like a torch, but it had a very definite yellow gold hue to it. And it was emitting like kind of a cold instead of a warmth. Um, and And... In the fourth corner, there was this uh, pool with the symbol of Lady Mayan, the goddess of law, and it was just emitting this very pure white, bright, uh, almost empty light that was just like a, like I described it as a canvas, a blank canvas. Sounds like the inside of my brain. <laughs> Bird? <laughs> On yourself? <laughs> self <-burned>. <laughs> self inflicted. <laughs> Got her. Um, <laughs> and and you know that there were these incredibly tall, large, uh, well uh, armored uh, skeletons. That these skeletons are maybe about 11, 12 feet tall, uh, sizable, and they were walking kind of clumsily around in circles. Uh, they looked like they were patrolling, but very lazily. Um, and yeah, well, I think you basically kind of stopped there. Were we going to bring the colors back to the pool? Or we, we took some water with us. We took some with us, yes. Yeah, some of the clear water from the, the white pool. White, white-ish. I guess the question's going to be if, if we have to uh, possibly bring the actual item back with us for each thing, or just like the essence of it somehow probably gonna be like a challenge each time to do this thing but I, I don't know we'll see yeah and there's multiple skeleton guys going around so it's not yeah, like we have four. an entire room to mess with it true i uh i'll do whatever you tell me to do or whatever you tell me not to do because i'm confused and we All can't right. create our own chromatic orbs put them in the water if that makes sense like our own uh colors can i just go touch this red one uh no we shouldn't just touch <laughs> anything um let's just um we uh, touch the water i mean nothing happened it, it's probably right i feel like okay. we each take a turn touching something okay well, I, as a as I like a, 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 a a scarlet well you'd you said you'd just do whatever we said to do, so you don't have any... Uh, no, no, no I, one's touching these things. All right, I, I like am a scholar the of the arcane. I, you know, I I think you're onto something, though. I like the idea of trust maybe touching the red one, because if it's hot, trust will be okay. Enough. And Enough. Or more okay -er than use or touching it. Yeah. What other option do we have? I, we'll sit here I'm going to speculate. I'm going to slowly start scooching with my eye on Rezik, waiting for him to say yes or no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god. All right, fine. Go ahead. <laughs> Wait for the skeletons to pass and, and then, uh, you know, sneak, it, sneak over oh, there. Oh, obviously, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm clear you, wait, and, uh, <laughs> you know that there's, there's multiple skeletons um, that seem to be in this place, uh, just from the 
the frequency of their patrols. They all look uh, slightly different, but they look pretty <clears throat> similar. Um, they don't obviously don't look like perfect clones of each other, but um, similar enough. One has an axe, one's got a sword, and one has a spear. Um, Day, you, you get close to this red glowing light, and this orb itself uh, seems perfectly spherical, and it just kind of floats in the middle here. Um, you notice in this gazebo, there's these two really nice, plush-looking pillows down in the bottom. Um, and, and the actual gazebo itself has what looks like a very smooth stone floor that's been carved uh, very intricately uh, by some kind of master uh, mason or uh, artist of sorts. Um, but other than that, just this red light seems to emit from this orb. Is it feeling warmer, or is it pretty temperature neutral? It, it seems pretty neutral. Um, as I get closer, there's no, like, like, I can't sense it be feeling threatened by me getting closer. Um, I mean, the red light definitely uh, gives you pause. It does uh, seem maybe um, a little bit threatening. Um, just from your circumstances, but the orb itself seems to just be, um, very neutral. It's not, uh, giving off any sounds. Um, it's not giving off any heat. There's no kind of vibrations in the air or energy coming from it. <clears throat> Got it. Um, wait, guys, didn't you, like, take water from the, the other thing to, like, I didn't understand that plan, but you, like, took water and you were going to, like, do something with the colors. Did we abandon that before I touched this? Or, like, was that no. a thing? I'm pretty sure that that is this thing, right? There was, like, a weird plan I didn't understand where it was like, let's get the water and then mix all the colors. But I didn't understand how. Yeah. I, Resident I, water expert? Well... What I think needs to happen is this whole orb probably needs to go into the water, but we brought some water along just in case. So um, here, let me grab this. And I toss my pouch of water over to Trust. Um, pour a little on it. Pour some water on it. Okay. Yeah. Um. Oh, you're singing, Trust. <laughs> I'm talking. I'm talking <laughs> lyrically. Um... What, what, how big is this orb, by the way? It's about the size of a fist, like a human fist. This size. It's not okay. Oh, I was thinking it was so much bigger. Okay. Yeah, I was picturing very uh, large. Okay. Yeah, I was yeah, saying, like maybe same. softball sized. Okay. Um, drip. <laughs> you pour a little bit of water, and one of the things you notice is that the water hits the surface of this and immediately slides off. And not even like a trail of water is left. It just kind of slides off uh, very, very, very quickly. Almost as if the orb was barely there. But not like it was hitting a force field protecting it. No, no. It just no. seemed to be almost as if like uh, yeah, the water itself moved in an unnatural manner and just dripped. Through it? Not through it but it didn't oh, really okay. stop. It just kind of hit the surface and then slid off and it left no kind of residue or anything. Uh, Maybe it, it's made of oil. It went like right through. Um, I'm, I'm worried this is going to be like an alarm, but... Yeah, should we be doing all these at the same time? Oh, that's not a bad idea. That's a terrible... We're not splitting the group. <laughs> I, I poke the orb. Okay. You poke the orb, and it seems to almost... And then go back to a perfect sphere. And when you touched it, you noticed that it almost felt insubstantial. Like, you didn't really even feel much as if it was like a, 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 sp a spider legs walking across your hand. That light. <laughs> um, And the other... we They were all orbs so there's three orbs in the pool of water right they're all orbs though or there are no orbs in the pool of water the top left has a right. red orb 
The top right had a, a dragon skull blue? with like blue sapphire blue eyes, and then the bottom was a torch with like a yellowish golden uh, torch. So fire. they're not all orbs, okay? Um, it almost feels like uh, it's it's a weird substance, like uh, one of the other things, another color. Is it like something we can scoop this up in and then take it? I, I try to, like, can I grab it? Yeah. Roll me a dexterity. Oh, God. I would love someone to be smarter than me right now and figure out this friggin' puzzle. If, <laughs> if you so can't confused. grab it, pour the rest the, of the water the person, out and put it in my, put it in my, uh, my flask. Um, 19. A 19. It's really really hard to grab you manage to grab it but the second you grab it and try and move it almost like tries to move and get away from you as if it was alive and it is so slick and so insubstantial that it, it's incredibly hard for you to hold but you manage to kind of catch hold of it as this thing starts to um kind of like almost move back and forth like it, there's something inside it trying to move uh and wiggle okay uh, but you do manage it and the light comes with you? it but Where immediately you hear something uh, far, uh, far to the east, almost as if a, like a, a bone snapping. Mm. I like put it back. And you let it go and it just kind of goes whoof and floats back and just sits. A bone snapping. I didn't, Did we like, hear... that. I didn't like that. Did we hear anything in pain? Like, or just mm -hmm. a bone snapping? I wonder if that killed one of the skeletons or something. It was either a skeleton something. or it was the guy who was in the coffin, who I wrote down his name was Cinnabon Raisin, and I don't think that's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Simamar Raisin. Simamar. Super close, actually, Jason. Cinnamon. Good job. I like, I like Cinnamon Raisin better. Yeah. Yeah. His name is now Cinnamon Raisin. <laughs> Cinnamon Man Raisin. Cannon. Um, 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 Isaac, would you use your big wizard brain? What are we supposed to do? Oh, oh I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know you wanted to actually do a thing. I, I'm so, my bad. You literally were like, I don't want to do anything. And then you suddenly did everything on your own. No, no, it was Skid's idea. And Cowboy said it was a good one. That is not me doing whatever I want on my own. Well, we need to do something. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what my face looks like right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Put, right. put this thing in a jar. We have jars. Solid. Love that idea. And but maybe do it a minor. Something bad happen. Maybe it's not the right order. 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 Hmm. Order. That's possible too. Okay. What if we got to start with the torch? And light this gas on fire? It's not a terrible what idea. What do we do if. What, what, how does the. Um, how do the, the gem eyes. eyes uh, we eat them. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I like your line of thinking, though, Skid. I think that it's reasonable to think that maybe we can use the fire to burn away the grease on whatever this thing is. Possibly. I, I mean, that's all I. I don't really have anything else to go and off of right now. Underneath that grease is going to help hey. us pry out the eyes of the blue th dragon head thing. It could be. I mean, it's, it's, either, it's, it's either that or we just have to grab this thing and hold it on long enough and bring it over to the pool. But I, I don't know. Is there the, the, the orb thing in the middle that we can't get through? Is that a color or is that just clear? So the, there's like a barrier. Uh, it's yeah. it's chromatic colored, so it's like a rainbow shimmer. Got and uh, roll me a perception check. Now that you're looking at it, we'll say you're looking at it. Fourteen. A fourteen. Um, now that you're really considering this um, unknown thing, that you decided, just, nah, let's not look at it till now. Uh, kidding kidding of course um 
Uh, you look at it and you notice, uh, even though it's shimmering like, uh, like a chrome wood, reflecting light with all these different like rainbow-like shimmers, you notice like you s- there's yeah. many different. You mean like like it's iridescent? Almost like there's, yeah, there's there's like different layers to this thing. You can see multiple oh. different layers, and it's like each layer is a different color. But when looking at it very closely, you see that there's just like it looks like a hodgepodge of shimmering. Uh, Light that's all different colors. Okay, so maybe how maybe we can keep... I tell how many colors? It seems like there is one color for each of the colors of the rainbow. Do I see a crack in the red layer? There is not uh, any sort of crack of any kind. Do we still see the red layer? You do. Trust, can you tell what layer maybe is on the outermost layer? <laughs> the outermost layer does look to be red when looked at close. Red, orange, yellow, green, yes. blue. Mm. <laughs> yeah. but, but I think it's just mm. the four colors, but unless I misunderstood the no, answer to my question. Six. Yeah, maybe with them mixed together, like in between the two layers, it's a... Okay. Red. So, okay. Red. Yes. Red plus so yellow is orange. Take, right. So if we take the yellow torch and bring it over here and light the red on fire, it will probably make orange. Mm-hmm. It's either that or it's much simpler. And it's just literally this is the first one, which is the first part of the rainbow, which is red. And we bring this red over to the blank canvas and put it inside the blank canvas. It could also be that. I mean, it could either be either one. I, we don't know for sure. But what do we want to do is the question. I, I think that I like... When doing an experiment, can... it's always best to do the most simple possibility, right? Bring it over there. Is it possible to bring it over to the pool? Am I getting your permission to grab the yet red orb, Rezik? You don't need... It. Yes, you have my permission. <laughs> I try to grab the orb again. Okay, roll another dexterity saving throw. Saving throw? Yeah. Saving throw, sure. Uh, 19. A 19. You, uh, with practice, this thing is very unruly. It almost seems to try and avoid you, um, but it can't. You grab it. Again, you hear a snap <clears throat> coming from the east. Uh, what are you doing? Um, whispering to it that everything will be okay and trying to make my way to the pot pool, which is Rezik's most simple plan. Okay, how fast can you move? In the blank canvas. I say we book it south. I can move 30. Okay, you move 30. Immediately, you hear Uh, a... (gasps) And you hear... (laughs) And, uh... Uh, one of, oh my God, I can't click this thing. Oh, it's so, I made this map too big. I love giant maps, yeah. but they're not, they're not supposed to be that big. Well, if it's, <laughs> uh, taking him a while. Are we <laughs> One of those giant skeletons with his mouth completely open, almost squeezing a scream with a bright red glow comes streaming around the corner straight at you trust uh hey skid what's your speed everyone roll initiative um what's your speed with your hopping trust you'll just be first run 40 and then jump an additional 15 yeah, I might be passing this off to you. Do you got good dexterity? <laughs> Guys, don't be mean to me today. Uh, 18 for me. I got a 7. For me. 12. I could eat all these things. What did you get? You uh, should have swallow a skeleton. <laughs> no, that, wait, wait, that wait. orb. Kate, what did oh, you the get? the orb. 21. 21. Skid. 
always takes me a second. All right, uh, trust. You're first. You run. Uh, you start booking it, and then right around the corner, this huge uh, red skeleton with a light just starts screaming and charging towards you. That's him charging towards you. I didn't mean for. Cool. Oh, He's got a lot of movement. Um, I can't move again, right? Because that was already my move. Uh, before let's initiative. just say uh, we're well, starting over. Starting over. You could. Uh, okay. That was no, your no, surprise one. I'm going to run to Skid. Okay. And attempt to hand off this orb. Okay. Because I am small with tiny legs. Uh, you, you hand... Think this thing is worth... Is more important or putting it in? Because regardless, this thing's going to try to get us. Uh, Maybe it'll you... deactivate if we submerge it. I oh, think really? that everyone who doesn't have the orb takes care of the skeleton, and this, the person with the orb just deals the orb. Agreed. Done. Okay. Roll a uh, dexterity saving throw, Skid, as this handoff okay. comes in. Do I get to, with advantage, because I'm helping, Clint, or do I, I roll to my on dex No, so I the, thing is, the thing is actively I get advantage trying on to. Dex, regardless. Okay. Oh. Which is good, kind of. It's a ten. A ten. Uh, you it's barely, barely habit. keep a hold of this thing as it tries to like jet different directions, and it's like the orb almost changes shapes to try and escape from your hands. There we go, Skid, holding the red orb. Uh, Skid, it is Hello. your turn. I am going to use my movement to move 40 feet towards the pool. Okay. Move 40 feet. Am I to say? Oh, I totally am. Right here is 40. Eh, move here. No. How do I? Dude. Hmm. I can't uh, see how far 40 is. Uh, I, can do, I, can do, I can do a ruler for 40, but then how do I? Can you see my this? My brain move. Yeah, I can. Thank yeah, you. There you go. So, yeah. I can just do eighty because I'm gonna uh, dash. Okay. There's eighty. Cool. And then I am going to. You get to about there. Loop. And you see a, uh, a big. Skeleton, not red, it's, but it's a big here. skeleton that immediately, as you start dashing through this thing, whips around, and looks straight at you. Look at there! There's another skeleton! And then I'm going to bonus action uh, rabbit hop 15 feet further. 15? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, nice. All right. Nice. Nice, nice. Uh, Kellwise, you're up. Um, let me guess. Skeleton probably can move pretty far, pretty fast. Um, that uh, earlier was not indicative of their movement. I was just moving them as they were coming around the corner. Got it. Uh, th the other skeleton that Skid saw as they ran, um, did I get a, a bearing on where they were at? Because I can't see them on the map. Um, you heard it's okay if I don't. Skid uh, yell, so you, you figure it's probably close uh, by. Probably close by, maybe the the maybe on the way to the pool, <clears throat> the bottom left okay. pool. Okay. Um, let's see. Well, I'm gonna take uh, my movement. I'll go 25 to the south. Okay. And I, I also cannot see how far that this is. is. So dark. I'm sorry. It's I it's really it for dark. Mood lighting and I just it is <laughs> very pretty. it's moody. Oh, there we go. Very cool. There. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. It's to about there. Um, I will. I'll take a, sh a shot with the boomstick at this uh, red skeleton guy. Okay. Uh, this skeleton's like large. Are you just kind of shooting generally at the skeleton itself. Um, it's large. I don't want to do a cold like, shot. Yeah, well, yeah. What, 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 say what you're going to say first. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just, um, like, 
it's like huge. Like you remember <clears throat> back. I just wanted to remind you. You remember back when you had fought some of Deus. Uh, beings, especially when you were in uh, the forest, you remember that yeah. one skeleton that you basically had to chop to pieces and then froze the head and threw it down a well and then separated the body as the body uh, was yeah. trying to like reconnect itself yeah. continuously. Um, so uh, you remember like the the undead are like not only undead but nigh unkillable. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. Just noted uh, i would i would like to shoot at a leg okay trying to like hamstring slow it down as they say cripple okay cool yeah uh just roll regular you don't have to roll a called shot or anything okay it's large um enough. love that 17 17 hits cool and that is Seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. You shoot, this gun shoots out, and the, the, the bullet itself cracks a huge wedge into, like, the femur bone of this skeleton. Uh, its leg kind of wobbles a little bit. The, it seems like the femur's holding, but there's a giant, like, cracked section of it now. Um, as the skeleton wavers just a little bit. Okay. Um, interesting. Yeah, that'll that'll do it for me for this round. Okay. Uh Rezik. Uh all right. Um I'm also going to move uh by the way, James, I can't move myself unfortunately because the computer freaked out when I put the map up for some reason. Uh. Um <clears throat> but uh I'm also going to move uh 25 feet um towards um the pool. I'm going to shoot um let's see. Actually, I want to test something feet. out. Uh, 25 oh. feet uh, in the direction Towards of the, the pool, please. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Thank you. And I want to test something out. I'm going to go ahead and um, hmm. use um, uh, a bonus action to cast um, Spirit Shroud. Uh, and a uh, basically a group of kind of uh, ghost-like sp spirit entities kind of swirl around me as I cast this, and I well, actually that's a bad idea. I have to be ten feet away. Never mind. That's a terrible idea. No, no. I know I'm gonna cast it. It lasts a minute. That's good. Okay, I'll cast it for now. Um, so it won't affect this guy, but next time hopefully it will. Uh, I'm gonna cast um. Ray of Frost on the red skeleton as okay. we move. Uh, let me roll for that. Oh, that's a 15. 15 hits. Awesome. Um, it's a 2d8. Could use D&D &D Beyond for that. Uh, 11 points of, of uh, is that ice damage or what is that again? Of like frost damage or whatever, cold damage. And uh, it will be slowed down by 10 feet for this round. Okay. So the ice smashes into this thing and you feel its body kind of like, um, as if it's like ice is caught in the middle of its joints as it kind of moves at just a slowed pace. Uh, anything else? All right. That's me. Um, I think that will... Yeah, that's me. That's all I can do. Okay. Cornelia? Yes. I would like to cast, I'm going to try casting a reduced on this guy. Okay. Just make uh, him smaller. What's the uh, Ooh. save on that? <laughs> nice. Um, he has to make a constitution saving throw, and I assume it goes off my save DC. Thir he has to roll 13 or okay. higher, I guess. With Call disadvantage. Oh, with disadvantage. Well then. With double <laughs> disadvantage, actually, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, because oh, he my. doesn't see me, I'm in a bush. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I see. Uh, you <laughs> cast it, cold. and uh, the skeleton <laughs> starts to shrink and shrink and shrink 
and goes from a, a 12 foot skeleton to uh, like a 7 foot skeleton. Much more manageable size. Um, all right, I'm going to go farther down as well. Uh, five, all right. Ten, uh, at the same ten. time, uh, the wavering skeleton starts to uh, lumber. Um, Twenty makes it about that far uh, with the ice and uh, its reduced size, and also having um, uh, the kind of a broken leg. All the different things. It, it just kind of moves, but it seems to turn the corner, uh, completely ignoring you guys over here. At the oh, same time, uh -huh. uh, that skeleton at the bottom who saw you skid uh, mm -hmm. silently just starts to charge at you. Okay. So it moves about that far oh. to try and intercept you. Uh, and we come to trust. <clears throat> um, I will. How far, oh, how close have to be? I want to be. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna cast. Um, um. Oh, where is it? Mantle of Majesty. Hmm. So that I can cast command for a minute. Um, but how far away do I need to be? 60 feet. Okay. So give, I want to be within 60 feet of this guy. If I, mm, ruler. Okay. So I'll move up one or two or so. Ah, now I'm doing the thing. Un how I do know. I unselect it's... the ruler? <laughs> you have to just select the uh, little four curves above the ruler. So click on the person icon, and then to the right, right to the right of the person icon, there's mm -hmm. like a little okay. selection. Okay. There you go. So I'll get within 60 feet of him, and I will cast command, and I want to cast freeze. <laughs> okay. Uh. What's the save? DC? It is uh wisdom 16. A wisdom 16. <laughs> it freezes it just stops <laughs> its, its jaw just kind of goes <laughs> as it Great. freezes nice. in place um and then i will because that was a bonus action i want to cast um shoot where'd it go uh enhance ability but i don't think that will help you move faster in any way right kate do, did you say enhance ability? Yeah. Uh, no. That's just checks. It's just checks. Yeah. All right. Well, then I will hold. Can I hold an action if it if it unfreezes and starts coming at us? Sure. What do you want? What action uh, do you want to hold? Thunder wave. Okay. <laughs> you uh, prep a thunder wave. Uh, uh, your prep. horn start to spark in anticipation. <laughs> Oh God, everybody move. <laughs> Skid. <laughs> You're yep. all the way down there. I'm gonna just keep on running. And I think I actually may have, I've been trying to figure out how to do this. Cause I was like, there has to be a way. So let's see if this works. Hell yeah, I'm a genius. So I'm gonna go here. <laughs> no, Ugh, I didn't do it. Yeah, just go, go here. Thank you. 40 to there. And then I'm gonna do another. 40 here. Hello. And then. Um, can I hold a bonus action? Is that a thing? Depends. What do you want to do? I want to hold a hop. So when he gets close to me as a bonus action, I can jump 15 feet without provoking opportunity attack. So I would like to jump past him when he gets close enough to me to hit me. Well, hold an action. I mean, you dashed, which is usually used in your action, unless you can bonus action dash. Okay. Um, uh, then I am. If you have a hop ready, I mean, I would give them maybe disadvantage on the attack instead of flat out avoid. Not being able to take opportunity attack. I mean, this guy's also larger than 15 feet, so. 
I actually don't think it would matter. But you could definitely save that as like a like a, a dodge action almost. Yeah. I am going to. I'm gonna chill. Okay. Um, Kelwise, what are you doing? Unmuting. Uh, red guy's frozen, yeah? Red guy seems to be, yeah, small, broken leg, covered in ice, and commanded to freeze. Okay. Um, so if I were to shoot at him, it would be... Advantage. Advantage. What sort of shape does he look like he's in, other than the broken leg? Other than that, Most covered in ice. Broken leg. Okay. Seems, you know, that chipped. And, and, uh... Yeah, you noticed that, like, that splintered leg that that bullet had shot. You could swear, like, that crack in his leg has... has gotten ever so... much smaller. It's yeah. The crack is moving in reverse. Got it. Uh, I'm going to dash then straight okay. south. All right. And that's 5, 10, 50. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, thank you. How far can you move? 60? I, it, uh, that's going to be 50, 50 for me. Okay. Oh, no. I know. These programs are very like. <laughs> like why it's can't just I just move you have to click a figurine on, it. on yeah. a grid? Yeah. Um, and. That's going to be all I do this turn. Okay. Uh, after Kelwise's Resic. Uh, I'm going to follow Kelwise's lead and also go 50 feet. Okay. Seems to have a plan. I'm going to follow along with him. I can't. Totally. Totally have a plan. So I'm just holding so the Captain, bar. my captain. Oh, I got to move you. I forgot. I'm sorry. Plan is save skid. We're gonna say that's fifty feet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Cornelia, what are you doing? I like it. Um, I have a question actually on the edge here. Is it just a wall building, or is there an actual bottom yeah, to this? Yeah, it's just a big wall. Wall. Oh, okay. Let me see what you see. Uh, what yeah. Well, so where next to skid is. Next to skid. That's where we entered. Oh, that's where you entered. Yeah, that's the big stairwell. Uh, um, all right, I'm going to move forward um, if I can get 60 feet away from him. I want to use catapult to do some damage, but I don't think I can make it. Hmm. No, I won't make it. Um, all right, then I will do... I'll use all my movement, so action, bonus action. and. Okay, what's your speed? 25? 25. So, so 75 feet. 70, yeah. Okay. Boom. Okay. Um, uh, at the same time, Skid, uh, this skeleton raises a sword and just comes uh, kind of hobbling, almost like shuffling towards you, raises this giant blade and tries to uh, attack you with it. What's your armor class? 20. 20. Okay. Attack number one hits. And it swings the sword back again, and the second attack misses. Okay. Uh, the first attack deals seven points of slashing damage as this blade comes down. Um, swings once, and then swings again. Um, a bit more agile than you expected for something so large. Uh, but that seems to be all it does. As we move back, uh, oh, and the uh, the one who was commanded, it's just one round, right? Command? Uh, yes. No, but this would be the round that it is stuck, yeah. so it's yeah. frozen. It, right I, my, okay. this, I can use the spell for a minute, but it, yes, it lasts one Yes, round. so the command ends as their turn is wasted essentially, as they are frozen. Uh, trust. So, Trust, it's your turn. Cool, cool, cool. 
So then I will, um, I will take part in this, this dashing endeavor. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do a 60 feet for 60 feet. Oops. No, perfect. Okay. So, uh, anything else? Bonus action. Uh, sorry, I my, I was on my the map twice on my end. I didn't mean to do that. Um, bonus action is that is way further than sixty feet away from me. Wait, why did this red skeleton disappear off my map? Oh, because probably line of far? sight. You've run through the trees. Oh, okay. So the trees are blocking. Okay. Then um, I will hold. Okay. No, I can't. I, no bonus action. Yeah, unless I can hold command. No, not with the bonus right. action. Yeah. Okay. Uh, command skid. is a bonus action. So. Skid, Back you are getting me. uh slashed up by this large skelly boy. Skelly. Um. Well, I can technically move. Is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 mm -hmm. while being in line of sight so I don't take opportunity? Yes. And then you can hop out if you want. Yeah, and then I'm, I'm going to hop then away from here. Do the rest. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to hop. One, two, three. That was 25, so I have another 15. 15. Yeah. 5, 10, 15 to here, and then another 40 down. Can you help me with the ruler? With the ruler. <laughs> Thank you. Boy. Zoom, zoom, okay. zoom. And All right. Uh, as tell as us. I hop over, I go, see you later. <laughs> Incredible. Hard to tell, uh, okay. but you'd like to think that there's a, a little bit of understanding in the empty pits, mm -hmm. sockets yeah. of the skull. Those are bunny ears, too, not a peace sign. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See you later. Um. Okay. Um. I have to just dash again. I'm going to dash again, south okay. fifty. Uh, let's see where that is. Do do right there. K. Okay. Oh, come on. There we go. Thank you. Okay. And that's Dash. Me. Uh, Rezik. Uh, I'm going to move 25 feet towards the pool. Uh, it looks like Skid's getting pretty close to the pool at this point, right? They probably have like one more turn before they get there. Yeah, they're pretty yeah. close. Okay. Okay, so I'm not too I'm not too worried about getting them over there then. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, blast off another ray of frost at this this uh, this guy. In the middle of all Which of us one? now. Uh, the, the white, the, um, the white, yeah, the the white glowing one. What's um, the range on Ray of Frost? Because he's a hundred. A hundred and twenty feet, feet, baby. Because I have a spell sniper. Oh, okay. Damn. Cool. 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 Nice. Well, there you go. No, that's a sixteen plus eleven. That's probably yeah. It's probably good. Probably hits. Uh, it's gonna be four. Uh, cold damage, and then it has a ten uh, feet reduced movement okay. for next that's round. Covered in ice, and it moves much slower and takes four damage. Tight, tight, tight. Okay, Cornelia. Um, yes. If I do a magic missile scroll, will that make that guy no longer reduced? Will it co cancel that, actually? or Because no. it is a concentration. It's a okay. concentration spell. That's why I assumed it would, but... um. All right, I'm gonna move down 30 feet and cast magic missile. Okay, magic are you targeting missile. any part of this this thing's? Yeah, physique? is there is there anything maybe like a rib or a hip bone or something to sort of make him? Um. Well, it? I mean, there's there's like the, you know the legs, <laughs> the there's the arms. You can go for like straight the, up the, pelvis, the lower spine. Uh, maybe you can try and break the pelvis. Maybe his arm actually, where it's where he's holding the his, sword arm. The sword, yeah. That's pretty sure. Smart. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna do that. Okay. So, 
Uh, three magic missiles, 1d4, I think. Oh, nice. And then plus one, so. Uh, so 14. Yeah, it's a little, uh, 14. Uh, nice. these magic nice. missiles shoot out and they smash into this thing right, just right below the elbow. And you see, like, it's kind of forearm. The top part of its forearm just snaps and the sword, kung, 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 falls to the ground. Uh, it doesn't seem phased at Very all nice. by this as it continues after Skid, but it no longer has uh, this this massive sword. Cool. Uh, anything else, Cornelia? Um, yeah, I'll actually then use my bonus action and go um, uh, dash a little closer. Since okay. you're not paying attention. Five, ten, 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 ten. I think here, right? Yeah. That's it. Okay. Uh, That's you guys cool. hear the scraping sounds of a, of, of a skeleton, uh, released from freeze that has been reduced, um, hobbling on a leg, uh, <laughs> moving in the distance. Is it, is it's definitely screams a little bit smaller now? <laughs> it just has a, it had more of a gasp. It was more like a, <gasps> but now it's more of a, <gasps> sounds a little bit more constipated. That's it. Um, Sounds like scooting a full that way. man impression. Uh, as you get that close, uh, Cornelia, immediately that skeleton's head whips around wow. right on its neck towards you. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, I got him, 20, skid. 25, 30. Oh, it, it barely <laughs> makes it to you, even with all that ice on it. And it takes its arm and like a whip, it starts trying to smash down on your body. Uh, what's your armor class? 20. 20? Is that a question you're asking me? It is 20. <laughs> okay. Uh, the first attack, you, you easily dodge, and the second one, you kind of, like, uh, jump back out of the way as it's it's flailing um, almost very uh, unproficiently with this. But one thing you do notice is that hand grasping the sword ever so slightly starts to and slide back towards the skeleton as if it wants to reconnect as if it's almost magnetic. Um, at the same time, trust. We run in. <laughs> okay. Um, I well, okay. If I go my thirty feet, will I be within sixty feet of this other skeleton? I feel like uh, I should be. sixty feet of this skeleton would be right here. Oh, so yes. Yes. Okay, so I'll go there, and then okay. I will cast command on that one and I will say flee 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 and immediately it starts to act hey. like a very small little bug uh, I knew uh, I knew uh, it turns <laughs> like, it like turns uh, like yeah, it, it, it has like a little tick. Um, it uh, turns around to run from you, straight right. the other direction of you. Uh, oh, what? No! <laughs> skid. And Cornelia attack it with the reaction if it's uh, running away from Cornelia? Not yeah. It's forced, I don't think. Possibly. Not if it's forced, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, could I? I don't. Cornelia oh, I'm zooming. Stupid. stupid. Zooming. Can you do 4D for me? Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> There's just so That's many. 40. Um, yeah. Do you want to move at an angle? Oh, that's good. Oh my yeah, gosh, you're so. almost there. Oh, it should be here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 40 you can do from that. there? Whatever, whatever gets 40 me closest, 40 from there, honestly. like there. Oh. So close. And then you have a little They're hop. so close. Right? Dude, it won't let me go there. Oh, it says maybe there's, there's a, a wall. So just go here then. Okay. So there's supposed to be a tree. And then you have 15 foot hop. Yep. Ooh. Jump <gasps> in into the water, baby. Oh. Splash. You jump into the water with this orb uh, that I was supposed to have you roll every round for. Roll me a dexterity saving throw. This thing <laughs> <laughs> tries to escape from you. Too many things. <laughs> Um, rolling oh a gosh. dex save. Dex saving throw. 
that is a 17. A 17. It's enough. Uh, you hold on. You splash into the water. The light from this orb starts to slowly, very slowly, almost like ink, start to bleed into this pool as the white light starts to shimmer with the red light. All of you uh, around can kind of see the red of that barrier start to waver, almost as if it's melting away slowly. Slowly. Like in a slow Kel-ice. manner, or? <laughs> Kel-ice. Like not so fast. Not fast. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The opposite of what we <laughs> were that. Can you explain further? hoping for. <laughs> uh, um, I'm gonna take a shot at White Skeleton Boy uh, with my boomstick. Boy. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Shooting at a, a specific. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm okay. His arm is still on the ground. Yeah. His arm is on the ground. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go for a leg, but not the same leg that's on the side of the arm that's fallen, meaning, so like, okay. if his left arm yeah. fell, I want to shoot at his, his right leg. left arm fight, shooting the right leg. Okay. And that's a 17 hit. 17 hits. Nice. That's gonna have, he's already been hurt, so that's Colossus Slayer as well. So that is... Math. Uh, 20 points of damage 20 points of damage as it takes its first step to flee you shoot the the shin just shatters and the skeleton topples straight onto the ground nice Uh, I'm also going to move and let's go like uh, there and let's go like there 10 15, 20, 25. Okay. Save me, uh, Kelly. Rezik. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the the, the red skeleton uh, is still it's still moving around. It's still active. Yes. Ah, In fact, man. it seems to be okay. moving a little better now. Uh, its leg seems to be healing much faster. With each. All right. I guess we started this clock, leg. gang. Uh, so they're just gonna keep coming at us. All right, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, move 25 feet. Actually, screw it. I'm just gonna move the full 50 feet down <clears throat> towards the pool. And as I'm okay. running past my 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 group of friends here, I'm gonna be like, okay, I guess we gotta keep going. And I'm just gonna keep just like running as fast as possible, and I'm gonna start heading in the direction of the pool, and like I'm just kind of directing everybody to like go to the to the next one uh, in the far the, the bottom right far corner. Yellow. Let's keep moving. Okay. Uh, Cornelia. Um, are there... <laughs> How I have my bag of holding, are there any parts I can eat of this skeleton, like the arm or something? <laughs> Just so it oh my god, that's form. genius. <laughs> that's yeah. actually like... Yeah, it would you probably fit could. in my mouth. <laughs> uh, shards, oh my God. pieces, small pieces. All right, I want to wow. attempt to do that. So you start grabbing is shards of genius. this thing and uh, just uh, pieces of the shattered <laughs> leg and its femur and its shin. Uh, you just oh take God. pieces of it. Um, but one of the things you notice um, is those pieces start pushing back up you're able to hold them down for now but they start to just giving you a little indigestion Uh, that might be like a constitution saver or so here and there nothing too crazy but uh, you know it's just it doesn't feel good Um, but yeah you manage to do it and the the shards of this thing's shattered leg seem to uh uh, try and repair themselves as best they can, but if there's no leg to repair, then it, it seems to be like holding fast. Wow. Uh, was that my action, probably? <laughs> yes. I would say that was your action. 
uh, and do I have? Can I move on like the other side of him by chance, just like south of him? Sure. Uh, just... He's he's right now. He's fleeing. So. Oh. He's not really threatening anybody. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, I said, I'll get right out of here. here. <laughs> um, I guess over here somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You you eat this thing's legs and it. Immediately, this thing starts to try and crawl uh, as far as it can away. It gets to about there, uh, crawling on its broken leg. Its arm starts to slide closer and closer. It'll probably be attached again next round. Um, but that's all it can do. Uh, red skeleton. 5, 10, 20, 25, 30. Makes it to about there. And then does a dash. Makes it to about there. Uh, trust. Yep. We move in. Um, I'm going to do my 30. I think that gets my, like where Razik is. is. That we good. Um, and then I'm gonna command it to freeze. Or actually, I can dash a 60 because I it's a bonus action to command. So what's another 30? Okay, you command it to freeze. Yes. And immediately it just starts shivering on the ground. Sure. Uh. Whatever. Skid, you stand in this pool of ink washes out, fills the pool completely. There's mm -hmm. this shoo, light that emits from the pool, this huge red light, and it seems to just melt away the barrier, and the red barrier comes down. Can I just go and grab the yellow one next? Yeah, yeah! All right. Be careful for the other skeleton. There's at least three. Oh, great. Oh. That's right. Yeah. Okay, boy. Okay, roll me a dexterity saving throw. With disadvantage, this thing starts to shake wildly as if it's really, really trying to escape from you now. Okay, so I have advantage against dex, so I just this is just a straight roll. Straight roll, yeah. 14? 14. It's enough. You hold on to it. Um. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to hold on to two things. This is gonna be yeah. Scary. Is that what's happening? Oh my. Yeah. Can't leave. You do case. have a third hand. And my tail. That's right. Yeah. Uh. Anyways, I move forty. Okay. Uh, I move eighty because I'm dashing. This way. Cool. Yeah. Cool, and that's my turn. Okay. Uh. Uh, okay. Uh, Kelwise. Um, I'm going to. Hmm, boy, I'm so slow. Uh, I've I've got to. I just have to dash. That's all I can do really at this point. So, uh, show me fifty. And half of us okay. shouldn't go north. Well. There's 50. Skid's going south. Mm, uh, this guy is still Not commanded, yeah, you said. So I'm yeah, going to presume he's preoccupied. Freezing. Fantastic. Freezing. Just shivering. Um, actually, I'm, gonna, I'm going to not get right next to him. I'm going to be next to Cornelia instead. OK. Uh, Rezik. Um. Yeah, we need to move a lot faster than this, and my friends and I are all just hustling as fast as we can, but we all, I mean, I'm missing, I have a peg leg, or a fake leg, uh, and my two, or my three smaller friends here aren't very fast, so I gotta make a move here. Um, I'm gonna use Polymorph, but I can't decide what to use it on. Uh, if I use it on T-Rex, it's huge, probably I'll go on my back. If I use it on a giant owl, I could probably carry three, maybe, maybe three people, maybe two, I don't know, um, but well, I can we are fly. Small. But you are small. 
So I'm gonna shout out to the group and it's gonna go T-Rex or <laughs> Owl or Giant Owl and let you guys decide. <laughs> owl! Giant just Owl. Just for a second. <laughs> T-Rex or Owl? <laughs> no context either. Yeah. <laughs> Classic oh, we're dealing with bones, maybe T-Rex. Dragon! <laughs> but if not a dragon, then an owl. <laughs> yeah. So my friends can... all... Yeah. Okay, as you all say owl, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use... I'm gonna... Uh, let's see here. I'm going to pull out... Uh, actually, I have a bunch of scrolls attached to like my like scarf and my like robes and stuff. I search for the one for, for Polymorph, and I find it, and I read it out loud, and I turn into a giant owl, and I, and I begin to collect my friends. Uh, I got three tiny friends here. Can I grab them all? Can I come up? Let's see. You got 13 strength. You're large, so you could hold... A medium size. You could hold two small people and still fly. Too small? Okay. Mm -hmm. Too small, too small, too small. Farthest. Okay, all right. All the small people, yeah. Uh, then if I can grab Trust and Kelwise, I guess then, and I'll just take off, and I'll start heading in the direction of where Skid's going. Okay, so you do a flyby. Uh... Let's try and uh, get going. Uh, you're moving 60 feet. Uh, yeah. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. 60 feet of movement, yeah. 45, 50, 55, 60. Uh, do you both jump on jump on his back? Oh, yeah. Okay. Just going to uh, put you guys right like, on top of him like that. Hilarious. Okay. Um, giant owl just starts <clears throat> flying. You hear this uh, deafening, whoo! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Rumble through. Intimidating. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> the mighty cry of the owl. Woo! Woo! <laughs> um, yeah. Rezik. Cornelia. It's your turn. Yes, sir. I'm going to move my full oh, By the way, roll me a constitution saving throw. <laughs> okay. okay. Vomit check. A vomit check. Oh, it is good. Plus I get a plus one of that. So 22. 22. Yeah. You managed to keep down your uh, b marrow dinner, we'll call it. Marrows. <laughs> Come eat at marrows. Uh, <laughs> specializing can I, uh, broths. As I'm walking and moving, can I sort of kick the leg a little bit farther from him? As <laughs> The leg, the arm. Uh, yeah. You can attack the arm. If you use an oh. action, you could probably, like... Uh, I'll use it to move instead. I'll keep going. Okay. That's question for you, continue. James, by the way. Just random question for you. You know, like, the, like... Uh, Marty McFly rides a skateboard, right? And he uh, grabs onto a car and is able to use the car's momentum to keep going. Mm -hmm. Cornelia has a cape... Could they hitch a ride with the with their cape on this with this like if I'm like an owl and I just like grab the back of my feather tails and just kind of get the momentum going? I mean, it would still kind of drag you a bit. It's more of just like like the effort. You'd still have to like. I think it would be it would slow you down a little bit. Okay, but okay. They could do it if they wanted to. Just random question, putting it out there. Just an idea. Yeah. Take I mean, it it's a good it. idea. Um you know what it would depend on a it would depend on a check each round. That's what it would do. Copy. So absolutely if Cornelia rolled well to not be a drag on everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Literal. Literal, uh, literal. Deck. We got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, skeleton boys. Uh, is this the round? You use shiver. All right. So this one's shivering on the ground. It's arm. Yeah, that's exactly what I cast. Yep. Um, shiver. Shiver. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. Freezing on the ground. Uh, their arm reattaches, uh, but their leg still broken. Pieces missing. 
of the leg. You hear beautiful coming from up top. 60, uh, the red skeleton uh, comes barreling down the hallway. Whoa. Uh, doesn't that seem close. to be chasing you guys at all. Seems singularly focused on getting that red orb back. Uh, trust. Ooh, what are you doing? Getting the red orb back. Ugh, well, I'm I'm on Resic. Um, okay. So I will. I'm still close enough to that other skeleton that I will cast command, and I will cast. I'm afraid of my words right now. Um, <laughs> valid. The effect is the same. So yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. This is just a small. This Stay. Is how I have fun. <laughs> I will. I will cast. Kill yourself. <laughs> I can, it's only one word. It's already dead. Commit. Kill dash yourself. <laughs> um. Explode. So where, where they like do this to themselves? That's what uh, I was thinking too. Yeah. yeah what's the goo? Goo. Goo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, already, <laughs> but it's already dead. I feel like that wouldn't do anything. Decapitate. Already... No, because then they might do it to you. Oh yeah. Um, I have one. I have one. I don't know if it would work for this skeleton. <laughs> it's James's favorite thing. It's James's favorite command word. Is it masturbate? It's masturbate. <laughs> it's James's what? favorite. James and I, we had a conversation once and he wanted to detail about how that was the best command word because they have to stop and drop their weapon in order to do it. <laughs> they don't have to drop their weapon. Yeah, just they don't to have to get a little. <laughs> <laughs> it's a skeleton. Awesome. It's but a it's very also very revealing, there. you know? You learn something about the person. You're like, huh. James, I've never tried that technique before. I don't, Just I don't real know, quick, cause... six seconds. And not only that, if it's a human, they have maybe they have to pull their pants down. <laughs> like there's a whole the, there's well, a whole my... That's probably not applicable here this for a skeleton, skeleton has the wrong bones. We Bobby is dead. <laughs> like <laughs> um, <laughs> So, I like. <laughs> uh, we love Dungeons and Dragons, Bobby. Like, it can't be oh like. Oh my god. Like, it, it, not the same. Like, it can actually do right. Like, it can't, couldn't be like disintegrate because it doesn't know how to disintegrate, right? Like, <laughs> who's to say? Well, it can't just... self harm. Like, you right. can't commit uh... it to jump off a cliff or something like that. Right. Um, but. Lie. I will. So, please. That's a whole different thing. I will command it to faint. Okay. Or sleep. It, sleep. Uh, it, okay, sleep. It lays down and attempts to start sleeping. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> you look rough, dude. <laughs> <laughs> my Deep mind just went through a whole journey, and it was not. It was so inappropriate. I'm so really, bad. really surprised that none of your friends that are players have ever tried never. something like that. That Brad's sounds like totally to a thing somebody to they would have done. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Ugh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it just kind of lays down and sure. Yeah, it uses the sword as like a, a pillow of sorts. Um... Skid, <laughs> what you doing? I'm zooming. Give zooming. me the 80. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, no, I'll take the 85. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Dude, imagine if I was a rogue. Be going Ugh, freaking yeah. 120 every time. I know. Why, did, why am I so James, small? James <laughs> cannot stand that kind of shit. I know. I, mean, I don't think you should. I don't thing. think you should be able to dash more than once. Even if you have the ability to dash with a bonus action, I don't think you should be able to do it twice in one round. Does that make sense? <laughs> because then every level two rogue can then run faster than a horse that's dashing at this full always... speed. Does no one think that that's broken? I that, that always bonus action dash. I, I, fantastic. I, fantastic. Next. Double the world dash? of dragons and mages, no. you're like, you can't run faster than a horse? 
<laughs> how is that even? How would it be possible? You can turn into a horse, but you can't run faster than one. <laughs> yeah, right. You'd <laughs> actually be slower turning into a horse. <laughs> <laughs> James, you can use a teleport spell and go across the globe, but running faster than a horse blows your mind. <laughs> yes. That's at level limit. two. That's at level two. Running that's where we feet that's faster the than line a horse. Has been crossed. <laughs> it's called immersion. There are rules. I could literally swallow live skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> and anyways, there are no horses in Aventide, so like, we don't have to worry about it. Just as fast as a clop clop. Hey, look, I'm sure if Trust <laughs> ran around commanding people to masturbate, even without magic, someone would do it. Ugh. It would be, it would be I mean... <laughs> just I'm work. just saying. Oh, Maybe the mantle isn't really uh, a mantle. It's an excuse. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. Kelwise, uh, what are you doing? You're riding on the back of a giant eagle. I am, Eagle? and since Owl. we're still uh, to uh, to the white skeleton guy, I think I'll take a pot shot at his um, his newly reattached sword arm. Okay, Just his shoot at that arm. again. Yeah. Uh, bad rolls today. Um, fifteen. Uh, fifteen hits. Cool. Eighteen points of damage. Eighteen. Uh, the arm again cracks off and breaks, uh, and the skeleton doesn't really move that much. Just kind of moves its head to try and get more comfortable as it tries to sleep. Nice. Uh, and I'll hold on for dear life as Rezik flies me through the air. Okay, Rezik. Because the problem we have now is that that skeleton's going to eventually get up and go after the red glowing orb i've got so, this I, guess... I, I i should have done this before okay that oh great okay perfect uh in that case uh well should i for your plan should i stay where i am or can i move you can move i can move okay uh then yeah in that case i'll, I'll, just, I'll go ahead and just start moving uh for down towards the pool uh i can go 120 feet if that's too what? far trust let me know no it's fine Where's and I can go. I can. I can swing by Cornelia. Feel me too. There you go. I'll be fine. You could do a little Marty McFly action if you want, but it's up to you. Did I? I'll, uh... <laughs> what are you gonna say now? I'll get there on my turn. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like waiting. And there you go. Woo! Woo! God. Woo! Boom. There we go. You move all the way down there. Uh, Cornelia, what are you doing? I am also, I'm going to keep uh, going as well. I think I could go all the way down to here, I believe. Oh. It didn't let me. 75 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's not letting me go through something. Oh. Uh, here. Boom. There you go. Um, okay, you make it to there. Uh, skeletons. The skeleton continues to run. Running bullet. All the way to there. Uh, seems, uh, perfectly healed again. Uh, this one continues to try and sleep on its turn. Um... And that brings us back to trust. <clears throat> okay, so <laughs> with wall of fire, um, when <laughs> when it says target is a solid service within range, does it mean in range of the that 120 feet? Yes. So like, can I cast a wall of fire across? Uh, can I draw on this somehow? Can I cast a wall like there? I... Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what now, I want to do. Wall of Fire isn't like a wall that necessarily blocks access. It's a wall that would burn like things up and tear them to pieces. So 
Uh, does that still These sound skeletons. good, everyone? <laughs> skeletons would take a bunch of damage, mean. and they might, yeah, they might, like, take some damage going through, and it would definitely slow them down, but it's not going to block their, um, completely gonna, like, block off that wall. If, if that's what you're, uh, okay. I'm just fair. trying to make sure. No, no, that's, that's fair. Um, I didn't know, like, how much skeletons liked fire, you know? Um, mm. so... <laughs> Oh, okay, gotcha, um, yeah. Uh, my other option is to drink a soul and jump off Resic's back and just be a bodyguard. Now, you know, there are some special types of fire that you are capable of that... Uh, oh, oh, yeah, you have the disintegrate fire. Uh, but I... Uh, I could only get one of them with that, though, right? I, all I remember about that is that I can just, I can use Fifi to shoot Disintegrate. You can take any fire spell and turn it into your oh. black flame. Oh. Yeah, I can enhance, well, I oh, enhance the wall of fire. Go, oh, great. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it does cause a level of exhaustion. I know exhaustion, exhaustion, I know. That's why I wasn't <laughs> thinking Sorry. about it. Aware that it's got, you know, a buff or nerf. Yeah, it's I'll balanced. do it. I'll do it. Whatever. I'll do it. These guys stink. Okay. So, uh, firewall goes up. It's your time to shine, Fifi! <laughs> Let's just do... Just, like, uh... black flames erupt from my fingertips and form a wall. Ooh, okay. hell yeah. <laughs> uh, light color. It's already on black. I think color also out of my mouth because Fifi's like inside me. So maybe, maybe I have, maybe flames come out of my fingertips and then Fifi makes them the descent. I go <gasps> with Fifi and they turn to disintegrate. Black flames. hole. Love that. That's so. <laughs> well, I can't make black flames <laughs> for whatever the light. What kind of app is this? So what are you going to do? What is orange? Bad. Throw it in the trash. I'm just gonna <laughs> pretend that the uh That's fine. I don't know. Uh like I don't know how to make them non circular light sources, so uh <laughs> yeah. You know what? We're just gonna use your white line. That yeah, sounds much right. better. Cool. Uh so big black flames just shoot up uh into the sky. Um, causing the whole area to kind of start to hiss. And there's almost like a whine as the very air, not just the oxygen, but the very air itself starts to be burned away in this place, almost causing like kind of a wind tunnel as this almost black hole-esque flames start to just suck it and burn everything around it. Uh, funny enough, though, it hits up against that barrier and stops short. Mm. I'm going to take a nap on Rezik's back now. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> skid. Still I'm moving. zooming. Okay. Uh, let me get my... Guys, this has been such a fun and unique combat <laughs> thing. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. All right. Uh, Kelwise. Yeah, um, here I am. I'm on the back of Rezik, and I am out of range for pretty much everyone and everything. Oh, well, I don't know, maybe not, actually. Hold on. Oh, what's that say? 110, 115? It's well, disadvantage, but... There is a wall but... of fire between you, that black um, flame. Yeah, yeah just, okay, okay. Just hang out. Yeah, I think I'll just hang out. <laughs> You know, okay. I'll just, uh, you know, already in action. Me. I'm taking a nap. <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the dodge action. Okay, the dodge action. Dodge Sounds action. good. Uh, Rezik. Uh, I'll take us another 120 feet. Okay. I just can keep show flying, baby. The world. <laughs> <laughs> Shining, shimmering dungeon. <laughs> this is what you think in your head, but it doesn't come out. Now, when did you is last it? paint your heart's desire? Okay, uh, Cornelia. 
I'm just moving as well. Okay. So you move out and around the corner. Uh, and those flames lick up, but we we don't know what happens to those skeletons as uh, now that you guys can going see around that the other far. Way. Can't. There's so many walls that we can't see. <laughs> ah, trees! I can't get by. Oh, here we go. Oh, sorry. That doesn't count as some of my movement. <laughs> yeah, we'll just move you like there-ish. Okay, cool. yeah, we'll that more. seems... All right. Um, you turn the corner, um, and you guys continue running. Let's just, for the sake of time, uh, say that you guys you guys are moving, right? Quickly? Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. Okay. As quick as possible. So you, question, uh... 80, you move 75, and you move 120. So you guys would move... I'm going to adjust this in a second. Oh, my God. I love big maps, but... <laughs> Yeah, who did You'd probably be story? moving. You're moving like two and a half times, and you'd be lagging behind a little bit, because I don't know, lag. You're the slowest lag. one. You're the slowest one. I'm coming, uh, guys. I'm like the smallest, <laughs> just running uh, behind. So you get to about here, I would say, before you guys see uh, a giant skeleton slowly walking. Ooh, around I... the corner just like <laughs> it stops Ugh. right around the the torch and it starts to look around lazily what are you guys doing hiding jumping up bush jumping okay. up bush uh you find there's like a big uh, there's like some shrubs this is like a, a an old grave that's just been like, uh, almost like a sarcophagus type, but it's covered in vines and you can easily kind of slip in between two of those. Yeah. Even though there's like red light emitting from your hands. Um, mm. Oh, by the way, hold, roll me a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> After all this time. <laughs> this time um, with advantage, normal. Okay. And Rezik, so what are you doing one. as you see that thing? Um, I guess we're hiding. Um, is there, are these <clears throat> things he can land on, or are those attached to the ceiling? Like the uh, no, pillars? No, he could land on top of those. <clears throat> That's, yeah, good idea. I rolled a 10. You barely hold on to it. It almost slips out of your hands. It's very, very, very close. In the last Ooh, second, you're like, Mikhail, like, comes and helps me. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. If you use oh. all three hands. Oh, but you can't. You home. You only have two that are available for this. Never mind. What? Because one of your hands is holding your hammer, right? Oh, I guess, yeah. I, okay. I would assume it would be strapped to my back. Oh, I thought you had to hold it. No, it just needs to be within uh, distance of me. Oh, uh, okay. So then, yeah, you could use all three hands. Mm -hmm. Even your, your feet, if you really wanted to. It would be weird, though. Weird. I don't know why you do that. That'd be dumb. I'm not gonna. Resic, what are you doing? <laughs> Good lord. Uh, yeah, I guess like uh, Dave was saying, I'll go on one of these uh, very tall perches, I guess, and just kind of look okay. down from above. Hopefully, it doesn't okay. like. Uh, everyone rolling seems pretty a lazy. Check so who's hiding? <laughs> See, I've been, been flying up. this whole time, just like above all the danger. Oh yeah, you can fly. <laughs> sure about that, yeah. I realize that. Uh, you say roll. I mean, you're doing pretty good. You're fine. Uh, dude, how else did I have advantage for being high up and out of sight? No. Preferably? <laughs> but you do get uh, plus 30. 10 because what? Path Cell Trace is on. Don't oh, we still have that? Right. Wait, that's good. That's the worst roll I've had in a while. <laughs> 17. 30. 17. 23. 33. 30, dirty. I'm breathing heavily. 23. Okay, uh, you guys wait, and this thing just kind of <gasps> walks lazily by you. Doesn't seem to notice any of you as it walks through. Uh, Cornelia, roll me a constitution saving throw as this thing walks by. Uh, oh. A stark reminder of... Oh. Uh, 23. 
23. Uh, you managed nice. to keep down your lunch. Um, this thing kind of <laughs> moves off and down the hallway. Not a sight. What are you guys doing? <clears throat> Continuing forth on our mission? Continuing forth on our it, mission. It. Mm. Skid, you can fly. I can't. Oh, no, I could. I could whisper down to you. You're pretty close. Skid, you can fly. OK. Yeah, I mean, it seems like speed is going to be the most important aspect right now. And if we can just fly above the heads of the skeletons, maybe that's the best way to go. Um, Got it. I have three hands. I can just speed around and I'm going to go for the yellow and then the blue also. OK. I feel like okay. we might as well get all of them at once. That kind of makes some sense. Um, so then we have to go around this way, go back north, and then come back down south, and then go back west. Because we don't want to go through the wall of black west. fire. That's what that was. I thought I smelled someone and didn't see <clears throat> it. So yeah, we'll go up and then go back around. Yeah. Do you want to pass the red orb off to somebody if you're going to speed up there and come back around? Sure. Do you, who, who wants it? Uh, I can. I can. Who can take is it. like really strong and handsome and dexterous out of you guys? Well, I have a high dexterity. Plus Here you nine. go. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Okay, Cornelia, you're rolling two saves every round now. Remind me. Oh. Um, Cornelia, do you want? Throw up that skeleton, though. It's just gonna go towards that wall of fire. Like, you're yeah, really that's good. not a huge deal, yeah. Cornelia, do you want to put the the red glowing orb in a in a container so you don't have to hold it in your hands? I guess. <laughs> eat it. Here's my container. <laughs> or eat yeah, it. Not a bad idea. I should definitely throw up the skeleton if I'm going to eat it, because then I might just throw up the orb too later. Yeah. Yeah, it's sort of a one or the other. I missed a lot. Yeah, she ate part of a leg of a skeleton. All right. You know, it's that nothing surprises me anymore. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go get the yellow and the blue one now. Good luck. And I, All right I you. click my heels together. I say, Susan Sarandon. And then you see me. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um. I give Cornelia one of the the old empty jars of honey um, that we have lying around. Or maybe it was jam. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell what was in it. Something was in it. Something sticky. <laughs> yeah. Gross. Yeah. It's just, you know, it wasn't one of the poison ones. I know that. Um, Wait, am I eating the orb or putting the orb in this honey jar? It's up to you. I mean, you could maybe put it in the jar and eat the jar. Ooh. I don't know how that works. All right. I'll let you do you. Um, well, I'm going to hold on to it in the jar for a moment until I spit up these skeletons later on, farther away from the other skeletons and go from there. I also want to, um, I remember Trust gave me that scroll a long time ago with the Find Familiar. I actually want to use that to call Cyclops, because then I can get more movement, more speed from him, too, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Now Oof. is the time. This one-eyed, shaggy-looking mutt appears. Uh, a mastiff. Uh, what color is Cyclops? He, I forgot. He was like a gray steel, like, whatever you would... Uh, like a uh, husky looking color. Okay. Like those gray white. Silvery dogs. gray white. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So poof, he appears. Uh, a little bit confused for a second, looking around, then sees you and. All right. Hi. Welcome back. We're going to need you. Okay. So you hop on Cyclops, and your movement is now <laughs> 40 feet, I think. Woohoo! 
can't be as fast as a horse, so let's just check that out. <laughs> yeah, 40 feet. Damn. And the horses run 50 feet. I could go 120. <laughs> well, yeah. Can you? Technically, if I dash, double dash, action, uh, by, dash. By the rules, um, if, if, if she's controlling the mount, then you, yeah. If I'm yeah. on the mount, right? Because it would be like if the mount had to dash and then use, because the mount isn't a rogue, but um, that's if the mount is acting independently. So, yeah. I'll allow it. Woo! He's allowing See? it! Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Isn't this great? It's dog well, runs way, faster than a horse. <laughs> well, to Cordelia, it is like riding a horse. True. The dog moves 50% faster when being ridden <laughs> by a rogue. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking She's about, nice. like, this is like a ghost dog. This yeah. isn't a, this is a, like a spiritual a dog. dog. And you're like, how could it run so fast? It's not a ghost <laughs> dog. It is a dog you adopted. Yeah. You, you guys adopted this. It died. Because as a player, he so, abused yeah, the ghost exact dog. mechanic with me. Cornelia just summoned mm. her dead dog, and you're like, it can't run that fast, though. Yeah, that's a that's good crazy. point. It's a zombie dog. It should be moving. It can't well, even dash. <laughs> either way, I get 75 total, and if it gets 40, then I can at least get 80, plus I get a movement You can still. move 120. My bonus. You can All move right. 120. James, you made an impossibly large map. Let her move one more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said. As usual, you made another giant map. I said she <laughs> could do it. Small, all right. Um, yeah, as you guys are talking, by the way, you just like uh, look over. There's like this uh, giant white owl. And on the tips of like some of the feathers are different like colors, like, like reds, blues, yellows, like and uh, it has like a giant yellow scarf around its neck and it just goes boop, boop. Yeah, I we're moving, Rezik. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's his way of saying hurry up. Okay, got it. Okay. Okay, so... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. You no longer have a red light on you because... <laughs> <laughs> you do. Oh my god. Five. Red. Update. There we go. Oh damn it. I did the thing. I'm not good at this. As you all know. Oh Cyclops. How I there missed we go. you. Aww. Uh riding on Cyclops. The celestial Cyclops. No. Yeah. Uh, okay. What are you guys doing? Are we still in turn order? In the next like, what's happening? No, no. Uh, not right now. Okay, then I'm going to drink a potion of vitality. Nice. Okay. And unexhaust myself. <laughs> okay. I think we do what Skid said. We grab this next torch, then we go up and grab some blue eye things, and then we... I'm already doing that. I left to okay, go Okay, great. So where'd Skid go? I'm gonna go pay. <laughs> when I click my heels together and said, who is this Randon? I was going over to grab the yellow torch. Actually, I would have gone to do blue who first and then made my way back down and picked up yellow on the way back. Oh. Well, okay. So okay. you head off to the blue. Uh, I thought you I make was it doing there that. You guys, with yeah, go relative do that. ease. The uh, dragon skull with the two sapphire looking glowing blue orbs. Uh. Just moving you over there. Big map looked cool, okay? Um, and you notice it's about that big. Cool. Uh, try to pry out one of the mines. Okay. Uh, you go uh, close to this blue uh, dragon skull. You touch one of the eyes. Immediately, the skull opens up, and this horrific shriek shoots out of its mouth. Roll me a constitution saving throw. Oh, no. 18. 
18. Um, you That's feel it almost start to shake your bones to the point where you, you're not even sure if, if your bones are liquid at this point, but you manage to hold it together. You grab onto this eye. Roll me a strength check to try and pry out one of the eyes. Ooh, strength also good for me. Come on, it's good. Oh my gosh. 21. 21. You crack this uh, eye out and fall back and you start to glow with a blue uh, hue. The stone is is cool in your hands. I'm clicking on the wrong thing. Oh, man. Um, oh, my goodness. But, uh... You guys yeah, down you know. there, like, arguing about what to do, just hear a screech. <laughs> 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 uh, like, should we go okay. check on that? Nah, nah, they're fine. It's probably. Go. I feel like we shouldn't you start just let like, kids go off on their own, though. Should we? Uh, meanwhile, what are you guys doing? You guys are just waiting. I feel like Resic. We should just fly and like make sure we can see her, and like in case she needs help, we're not so far away. Uh, I kind of like uh, give a couple of hoots, and I kind of use my wing to kind of point over towards the the yellow. The yellow, uh, not ball. What's it called? What was it again? It was like a flame or whatever. Torch, yeah. You want to get the yellow torch, Rezik? I kind of shrug a little bit. All right. Efficiency. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Uh, You fly over towards the torch. Oh, why didn't they go with you? There we go. Uh... Meanwhile, uh, roll me a con and a dex save, Cornelia. Goo con and dex. Uh, the dex plus one, uh, 16 okay. for the dex. You managed to hold on to this thing. And the con save is 21. 21. Uh... Those bones seem to be sitting uh, pretty well in your uh, digital, digital, uh, dimensional <laughs> uh, bag of holding. <laughs> Even though they're they're just pushing ever so slightly on the on the opening, trying to escape. Um. Uh. Okay. Um. Skid, you start to run uh, back down, or fly back down, uh, yeah. but you hear something like a, a cracking sound as you start to hear footsteps running from uh, up above you somehow, uh, and the shi- shining blue shimmering light starts to be uh, starts to come after you. Um, you're just gonna run all the way down, and all you guys yeah. are just waiting. Well, okay. we're going towards the yellow torch. Oh, I th- oh, you guys are there at the yellow torch. Did you want to do anything to the yellow torch? Should we take it? I mean, why? It's not like oh, it's yeah. really cold it's there. Easy. So just watch out. It's cold. Yeah, I was almost wondering. Well, Cornelia is sort of preoccupied. Uh, trust, you don't have mage hand, do you? Oh, uh, yeah, I do. My, uh, does the torch look like it weighs more than 10 pounds? <laughs> It does not look like it weighs more than 10 pounds. Oh, you might want to grab on. that torch with Mage Hand. <laughs> this is why you're the captain. I cast Mage Hand. Okay. Uh, you cast Mage Hand, um, and uh, the hand goes and grabs this torch. And very, very slowly, you start to see a shimmer of frost start to slowly wash over the Mage Hand wow. until it encompasses it, encompasses it. And then the Mage Hand, poof. Disappears and the torch kunk, falls to the ground. Um. Interesting. Um. I can use. Well. You're preoccupied. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> your hands and mouth are you're full. You're doing things. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but we could. Okay. So here's hear hear me out. Two thoughts on this. One, we lasso it, we tie it to Cyclops, and it runs, it gets dragged along behind Cyclops as Cornelia and Cyclops run across the road. B, we could do the same thing, but tie it to Rezik's foot. And I look up at 
Al Rezik for any sort of sign of approval. Yeah, <laughs> Al Rezik shakes their head. So, uh... <laughs> Just like with the wing. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know how how susceptible rope is to being frozen and broken, but I think it's worth a shot. Maybe we get it part way there and we have to figure something else out as a stopgap the rest of the way back. But that's all I got right now. Unless anyone else has a better idea. Not really. Um, yeah, it mm-hmm. seems like magic cold. So like real fire probably wouldn't help melt it probably probably not um you can use a gust of wind over and over again till it slowly <laughs> gets to the, <laughs> the water not a bad idea might take a while okay i'm gonna hop off of uh, uh off of al rezik and i'm going to take some rope and i'm going to uh, as quickly as possible run the rope underneath it and as far away from it as possible, tie a knot until I it feel like it's pretty well cinched. Okay, you cinch it down, and uh, the second you cinch the rope, uh, the rope itself starts to slowly... Uh, are you cinching it around the, the the torch, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, and it just, you see that frost start to slowly creep along the rope. And Jason... Jason, sorry, you're saying to tie it, you're going to put the um, the rope the rope on me or the item on me? The rope. Oh, sorry. Then then I'll not, my, I'll not yeah. The third thing you put the item on me, and it would, I was like afraid roughly, it would like, Roughly 50 feet of rope away from the object. I don't know yeah, how quick okay. it will go, but okay. Rezix down. I tie the other end of the rope to Rezix's uh, owl foot, whatever they have. Um, and uh, yeah, talent. There you go. And hop back on owl Rezix. Okay, and about no, the same Rizzi, time, no. uh, from around the corner, uh, a, a blue shimmering skid comes uh, oh, shimmering skid. Skid. There, there it is. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Rezik, you start to fly uh, towards the fly, uh, west. You all start to west. move. <laughs> uh, Rezik, you notice though that, that, that rope, the frost, starts to move faster and faster and faster. As you guys do all, I, do I emanate heat as a tiefling? Am I like warm to the touch? You're slightly warm. I wouldn't say anything uh, that could cause damage or sure. Uh, okay. Sort. I was just okay. Got you. Okay. Um, you guys, I'm assuming are just running, like your life depends on it. I'm just gonna move. Flying you like our life depends on it. Uh, this one that walked away is not there. We're just gonna yeah, what the? Away. Uh, you guys get to about... <laughs> eh. Slow. I need a better computer. Anyone want to buy me a graphics card? Uh, I have an old one. Uh... I mean, if it's better, I'm using. <laughs> hmm. uh, you guys get to about there. Uh, the rope starts to catch up. You can start to feel it creeping up on your foot, Rezik. And you start to feel your foot start to slowly freeze. I, t- I, I cut it off. <clears throat> okay. You cut his foot off. No, the rope. <laughs> <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> uh, you cut the rope are we, and are the we, torch uh, falls see. to the ground uh, very close to the pool. And that's when um, you guys see from streaming around the corner a. Where the hell is he? Oh. And nothing. Uh, well, the. I just want to ask Cornelia or Skid if, if their items being closer to each other is do it is it like affecting? Are they affecting each other in any way? Mm. Uh, when they get close to each other, they almost seem to butt up against each other. Almost as if one pushes the other away. They, they oh, seem to be almost like, like magnets. A, a, yeah, like magnets. Uh, opposite magnetic polarities. But from behind you, a a, a skeleton in a, with a giant blue glow starts to dash towards you oh, all. Shit. And that is where oh, we're going to go on a quick break. Sorry, cool. I'm late on the break. We're going to go on a quick break, everybody. And uh, we'll be back in, in, in a few minutes. Some of us have to use the restroom. So I have to mention the restroom because Kate hates it. Uh, We'll be back in a second and we'll continue playing. All right.
man. What? Hello, everyone. We're back. I might have said that too fast for the switch. Oh, listen to this. This nice Did jazz. It, they only heard back. <laughs> hey, everyone. Uh, we're back. Back. Yeah. We're back. <laughs> Talking about sushi. Back. Oh, oh she's so bad every day of my life. Yeah, I've been craving it. Well, that's gonna suck when I get pregnant and I can't have sushi. That's gonna. You can eat sushi. Aren't you not supposed to eat the mercury. Oh yeah, you no, know, it's horrible like, for the baby. It, but you can still you eat sushi. Retrograde or <laughs> eat small fish. I can't Smaller be in fish. retrograde while I'm pregnant, Jane. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Eat what does that even mean? People are like, oh, Mercury's in retrograde, so like I can't it, uh, have uh, <clears throat> gluten on days Are you days asking that what, does it, what does it physically mean in the sky, or what does it no, mean? No, I in understand it? the the, <laughs> the celestial significance. The, the, mm -hmm. the, I know what the retrograde is uh, as far as the rotation, but like as far as like how does it affect a human being's horoscopes? Or is there any, or does it just kind of mean different things to different people and different? I think different things to different people. Okay. No, it's a thing, guys. There's a whole chart. I, don't I know think it. I want to know why these orbs have polarity. Hurry up! I want to finish this. I'm so excited to do colors. <laughs> <laughs> Battle map. Get uh, lost a finger pain. Let's go. Battle, Battle music. <laughs> <laughs> okay here we are big skeleton uh we're just gonna use the same order that we were on uh you two kelwise did you get back on resix back i'm pretty sure i did uh because okay. he was flying me after okay. i tied the the torch to his leg you guys are approximately here I don't need uh, a yellow glow on him. My immersion. Trust. My immersion? What? We'll be about 50 feet away from him anyway. What? Your turn. <laughs> um, He's still really far away. Um, Golden I... glow. There. Oh, wow. Um, Your immersion. Can I... Immersion! Can I try to cast mage hand again and see if how much closer I can get the thing before it freezes to a stop. Sure. Yeah. I I'm going to do that then. Okay. And you can kind of like chuck it. Yeah. You know? Oh. So you chuck it and uh, it goes much closer. Uh, falls in front of uh, Cornelia. Uh, Cornelia, and you can feel that red ball oh, really revolts <laughs> against the light of this Yellow gold. I put it on Rezik like a like a Dumbo. <laughs> I forgot he dropped it, so is it my it turn? I'm glowing! I mean Rezik is the golden boy of the group, so it's Boom. not wrong. So I'll make a little light here. Isn't this fun? There we go. There's the torch. So close! Falls about right there. Okay. There we go. Trust throws it a little bit farther. Skid, what are you doing? Um, I am going to stay where I am, but high up enough to where the skeleton can't get me, because I know that the blue one's going after me. Fair enough. Okay. So I'm just going to stay there uh, and just kind of be like... Skid <laughs> kind of floats up to the sky. Uh, <laughs> Kelwise, like what are you doing? Like a dangling carrot. Um, I'm going to yell out to the group. Some of us need to stay here and the rest of you need to go and make the colors happen. Um, and I'm going to hop off of Rezik. I'm going to okay. designate myself as one of the people who's not making the colors happen. <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Um, I'm going to move to there. I can't go very far. Um, I'm going to cast... Spike growth. Ooh, nice. Okay. What's the area on that? It's a 20 foot radius, but I don't know how far away I can cast it. That's what I was trying to figure out. Spike growth? Yeah, but realistically, I would cast it just on the other side of where Skid is. So it, yeah. basically, it slows down 
blue skeleton guy radius. running over there. So it's like okay, a 40 great. foot box or a circle, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It's, it's in okay, the air so as well, right? Yeah. Why is this drawn drawing? So it's like. Uh... Yeah, I would drop it. It looks like it's about 140 feet or so to like right where right before where the skeleton is. I would probably drop it right right there uh, and put right here. Yeah, right there. Exactly. So he has to move into it on his next turn, basically. OK. Yep. Solid, solid. And that is all I'm going to do for my turn. Rezik, what are you doing? You're muted. Sorry. My bad. Uh, sorry. So um, I can't really tell. So it seems like Skid's pretty close. Uh, Cornelia is also like, I think like 30. What is that? 30 feet away from it? The pool? Yeah. Essentially. She's like, yeah, 30 feet. Okay. Um, all right, maybe I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll fly in, in the direction of the pool and maybe I'll just try to like kind of grab Cornelia and bring them closer to the pool. So they're like even closer when they start their turn. Okay. Or are you already... Are you flying, Cornelia, or are you, are you good? No, I was... Cornelia is on her her mount. Oh, yeah, you're on... Sorry, yeah, forgot. Okay, so never mind. Um, and then where's the where's the yellow torch? The yellow torch is leg? right here. No, okay. it got cut off. It's this little glow... It's this icon here. Okay. Um, then I guess maybe I'll just... Uh, I'll just fly in that direction and try to just bring it to the pool. I'll just say screw it and use one of my talents to do it. Okay. Uh, no. You fly over, you grab the torch, and then you're going to jump, d dive into the pool? Yeah, I'm going to Well, I'm gonna grab it and then kind of just maybe... Well, yeah, why not? Yeah, I'll dive in. Okay, you dive into the pool. Like a big pool. bird bath. Uh, you sure pig you feel, like... uh, you feel the <laughs> colors again start to leak into this pool, and now uh, that ice seems to uh, just vanish as soon as it hits the water the yellow starts to leak into the pool uh filling slowly slowly ooh, ooh. uh as That's this me. yellow starts to flood in there uh cornelia what are you doing what the i will go to the pool and either submerge myself or the orb or get that get it in there Okay, uh, you submerge yourself into the pool. Uh, the yellow and the red start to mingle and mix and form a totally new color. But we won't Whoa, find out man. what that color is until... What could it be? We get back from a commercial break. Oh. Um, <laughs> at the same time, uh, that skeleton comes roaring here hits that spike growth and starts getting tangled up and tangled up uh it can't move forward but it pulls out this spear and just Ugh. launches it at skid oh, who's in the air right I'm worried about you damn it Oof. uh which just kind of goes really off and lands somewhere on top of the cathedral and we don't see the spear anymore. oh okay uh, it, uh, right. it takes 2d4 piercing for every five feet it traveled through that sphere Okay, so its okay. feet just start to get all broken up and crumpled, and then by the time it gets to the end, you see its feet are just kind of like uh, chipped and mangled, and it's caught up in the vines as well, at the bones, lots of little like uh, areas where its feet could get all tangled up. So the thing is just tangled up and uh, scratched at this point. Um, we said 2d4. 2d4 for every five feet. Yeah. So and it's difficult feet. terrain. So that is a yeah, okay. So it takes a sizable amount of damage to its feet. <laughs> so, How much, James? Uh, ma a math amount. How many numbers? Uh, <laughs> twenty-one <laughs> points of damage to its feet. It's gonna like fall over because there's nothing to balance on. Yeah, it's just a little. See, it falls backwards like, into uh, the spike. Uh, um, okay. Uh, trust. What are you yeah. doing? Um, I think I shall protect Ski. 
did in in a way. I am going to. I'm gonna hold. Can I hold Thunder Wave for when the skeleton gets, if it gets closer? Mm-hmm. For sure. Um, okay. Because I know Skid's gonna zip off towards the pool and it's gonna keep running. Okay. You hold your action, Skid. Yeah. What are you doing? Um. Stay where I am for now. Am I within eighty feet of the pool? 80 feet? Well, you flew up about 20 feet, right? So, if you're 115 feet away from the pool and 20 feet up, A squared, B squared equals C squared, which... You could throw it in. Um, carry the seven. Hemdas. Yeah. Uh, that's, uh, I'm going to move just uh, close know, enough just to say... where in one turn I could dive. Okay, so you'd probably have to get within... If you want to be within 80 feet, you'd probably have to yeah. be within like 60 feet of it if you're going 20 feet up. Right. That math might be wrong, but I'm math be mathing. D and D math. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> sure. There. That's where you need to be. I should know this too. Nah. I mean, we can do the calculations if you'd like. Oh no. Oh, but I will be doing it on my own here separately on everyone else's turn. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Kelly's. Cool. Um, times 20 plus 60. Stop doing math. It's Kelly's turn. Yeah, I'm, I, yeah. I'm going to math off. You're gonna math off going on right now? I'm literally doing math right now. <laughs> That's fine. Kate can do all the math Kate wants. James, focus. I'm gonna take another shot at him with the boomstick, but he's out of my normal range, so it's disadvantage. Um, but that's still an 18 to hit. That hits. Cool. Hey. Let's take damage, so we get that, and we get this guy. Uh. That, by the way, I have written down that it has 10 foot knockback, which I think puts him back into the spike Ooh. growth. Oh, uh, hey. Strength saving throw, right? Sure. Sure. <laughs> Fails. Back into the nice. spike growth he goes. Oh. Okay. Lovely. And, uh, that's 12 points of damage. Uh, Where were you to, Yeah. Uh, his sword arm. The sword arm falls to the ground. Crippled. Uh, Skid, you got those calcs? Yeah. I'm working on it. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We know that C yeah. needs to be 80. Okay, we know that I'm 20 feet up, right? So that would technically be A is 20. Mm hmm. <laughs> is it my turn? No. Okay. Just wondering. <laughs> Cornelia. Yes. No, Rezik. Yes. Oh. I mean, I'll just, I'll just hold. The yellow floods completely in. Rezik's Cornelia. In the the water. red floats perfectly in. Cornelia is bleeding in the water. To Rezik. Uh, this orange <laughs> swirl <laughs> happens, and then shoo, it shoots up <gasps> with this orange light, and a layer of the barrier um, starts to dissolve. What are the two of you doing? You're in the pool. Um, leaving. You're gonna leave the pool? <laughs> yeah, like so. Are you saying so? A, a giant ray of orange uh, light just kind of popped out, and now we're yeah. being damaged by it, or are we good? No, it just dissolved the barrier. The the orange layer okay, of the okay. barrier. So okay, the next we're gonna, color we're gonna stay, is right? the next color is green, fine. right? Yellow. Yeah, are the orbs, um, can, are, is it just, uh, dissolved now? Could we leave? Or oh, do right. we need to keep holding on to them? The no, you still have to hold on to it if you, if you want it to. The orb is still trying to fight to get out of your hands. Wait, so, oh, oh so yellow, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. So, Cornelia so what are you doing, need Cornelia? to leave. Leave. Oh, right. Are you staying in or are you leaving? That's right, yeah. Right, I'm gonna you have to get the... 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cornelia hops out of the pool, taking the red with her. Yellow starts to seep out again into this clear water. Uh, skeleton boy. Oh, nothing. Uh, oh. Skelly boy. Gotcha. Uh, rips off a piece of his leg, cracks it against the ground as like a dart, and launches it at Skid. Who is actually a little closer to where he is because I need to be 77 feet away, so I put myself at 75 oh. feet away. Okay. Thank you, Tangent. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it got a 22 to hit. Does not hit. Ha! Damn. 22, oh, 22 doesn't 22 hit? Does hit. I'm drunk. Oh. I hit. Oh, <laughs> He's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Backwards. I mean, yeah, no, it doesn't hit. Cheaters. <laughs> It deals uh, six points of damage. Uh, as this uh, flying bone, uh, way more proficient throwing pieces of its own body than it should be. Right. It's done uh, this before. Dude was like too distracted trying to do the math. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna hold a thunder wave where I'm at. Okay, holding a thunder wave, skid. I has the pool turned orange yet? It did that, yeah. The orange is already gone. Right. Orange yeah. is and done. Yellow is still in there. I'm diving in. Waiting, waiting. You're diving in the pool. Well, we have to wait. We have to, well, we have to wait for yellow, I think. But the yellow seeped in, I and nothing happened. Because it takes okay. two turns. Oh. It takes two turns for the color to do something. So we have to wait. Yeah, I for guess two I'll, I'll, I'll slowly. slowly. Uh, <laughs> Slowly. I'm a, I'm a vibe. I'm a hang out. Oh, you and can I'm, dive in. No. I'm going to wait for the yellow to do the yellow thing. Okay. You hang out one more round, dipping and dodging. Yeah. I can't you take, take a dodge a action. Dodge action, right? Yeah. You can. Yeah, I am. Okay. You take the dodge action. Uh, Kelwise, are you going to do anything this round? Yep. I'm shooting at him again with disadvantage at the other arm that has not fallen off. Okay. Um, sure. Okay. Two sixes. Uh, 14. 14 hits. Okay. Do, do, do. Those. Oh boy. Max damage. <laughs> 19 points of damage. 19 wow. points of damage. It's other arm nice. falls off. And now it's just basically like a stubby. It's got these two stubby legs. One of them pieces have been broken off. Both of its arms are on the ground. It kind of topples forward, <laughs> and its chin just starts dragging the rest of its body forward slowly. <laughs> slowly. This is like Black Knight in Holy Grail territory. It like drags this. itself, uh, <laughs> similar to like ink flooding into a pool. Need on me. Slowly. <laughs> Cowwise, uh, the How yellow ink they? fills the pool, and then. <laughs> Explodes out with a yellow light. The yellow barrier uh, goes down. Okay. What are you doing? I'm oh, sorry. Who's that for? Was that for me? You. That was for you. Okay. Yeah. Once it uh, turns yellow, I'll I'll, I'll hop. Uh... No, no. What are you saying? I'm staying in. I'm staying in. Staying okay. There. You stay into the pool. Uh, Cornelia, what are you doing? <laughs> Owl wings, just like. Um. <laughs> I will hold. The... Roll me a dexterity saving throw to hold on to this red orb. <laughs> the feathers just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, 25. 25. You hold on. Uh, the blue boy, uh, one of his arms starts to slowly reattach. The, the original one you, uh, you, you shot off. Uh, it reattaches, but. Um, that's all basically it can do this turn. Uh, trust. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna... 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30. I'm gonna, like, pull up next to... Oh, that's not the right thing. I'm gonna pull up next to Kelwise so that if this guy comes closer, I don't fender wave Kelwise's mm -hmm. butt. Aww. Um. And I'm gonna hold my thunder wave for this Skid. chin crawler. <laughs> okay. Skid, I'm you are I'm 20 feet up and exactly <laughs> 77 feet away from this 
And I'm diving right here. Diving what right in. Cool. The blue starts to mix with the yellow as it starts th- like an ink. The light starts to uh, wash into the pool. Um, scared. Cowwise, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm shooting at him again. <laughs> okay. Go yeah, Cowwise. Tiny team defense. We've got the Cowwise. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna miss him though. That's a that's ten. Ten does not hit. Uh, you hear a sigh of relief come from uh, <laughs> around the skeleton. Uh, Rezik, you holding fast? Yeah, hold holding still. Yeah, it seems for green. like the yellow fully seems to leak into the pool. Uh, Cornelia, what are you doing? Um, I will scooch up of 10 feet and hold a... I can't hold anything because I'm holding the orb. I'm just chilling. Yeah. Okay, roll me another deck save to hold. Uh, meanwhile, the uh, one-armed yeah, yeah. skeleton... Oh, man. Hey, uh, nice. Breaks off another piece of its leg and launches it at uh, Skid, who is far, far, far away. So it's massive disadvantage. <laughs> Doesn't really uh, get close. Uh, so it kind of just like throws a piece of its leg. It just kind of skitters <laughs> off, uh, <laughs> off to the side. Um, everyone kind of... It's kind of... Huh. It, was, it was an attempt, you know. He was throwing legs. It's, He's doing his know, best. I'd like to say, like, you know, uh, we might not all be uh, the <laughs> best at something. And we may not all... <laughs> You know, succeeded everything we do, but as long as you're trying and you're moving forward and you're giving it uh, your best effort, that's, that's one chin at a time. Ask for. Yeah, that's all we can ask for. Uh... <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> it's a quick uh, motivational speech for the skeleton. Uh, yeah. Who's in the pool again? It's. Uh, uh, I mean, okay, pool trust, and trust it's your kid. turn. Yeah, um, same, same. Same, same. Uh, Skid, the pool shines with a, a, a glorious green color, uh, the color of the forests of the Potsenshire. Uh The light shoots up, it the barrier comes is. down. Um, what are you doing, Skid? You doing anything? Are you staying in the pool? I'm going to chill there and take a dodge action. Okay. I remember Kill-wise. to say this time. Nice. Yeah, his, I'm shooting again. His second arm seems to be uh, slowly reattaching. Uh, slowly, not not attached yet. Yeah, I'll shoot at that arm. <laughs> okay. Well, or rather, uh, not at that arm. But it doesn't matter. I missed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two arms. Uh, Rezik, what are you doing? Okay, I'm gonna uh, now that the pool is green. I'm gonna hop out. No, it hasn't <clears throat> uh, shattered yet, has it? It did. Oh, I'm so sorry. Where am I? Wow. <laughs> All right, I know. Just basically like fl- fly out of the out of the pool and just kind of hover above it, uh, and just kind of I'm gonna kind of go to the side and kind of just hover above the side of the the pool. Okay, you start to feel that. And I'll take the ice. Yeah, I'll take it out. Starts to creep up your leg as you hold this torch. Oh, I'll just drop it. We're done with this guy anyway, so we're good. Okay, the torch falls to the ground. Uh, the ground around it uh, shimmers with a slight frost, but nothing uh, seems to spread that way. Uh, Cornelia. I'm waiting. Roll me another deck saving throw. Come close. Waiting and waiting. Ooh, uh, oh, 14. 14. You still hold on. Uh, the skeleton. Skeleton's <laughs> second arm reattaches. It breaks off two pieces of its legs and throws both of them at the oh, same geez. time. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm um, holding it. And, and it's, it's like reminiscent the, of like a, a oh my goodness, like a almost like a very angry child throwing a tantrum now, just throwing anything <laughs> they can grab. I guess so. Launching it uh, with disadvantage. That's a miss, and that's also a miss. Uh, yeah, more bone fragments just kind of clink, um, kind of uh, like unthreateningly uh, onto the dirt around you. Uh, trust. I'm holding. Skid. This blue light comes out. Uh, one more layer yeah. left. Uh, kind of a, almost a violet indigo. Ew. Roy G. Biv. Um, 
I am going Bridgie to... Bridgie bived it. <laughs> How long can my tail stretch? It can stretch a long ways, right? Uh, it's still at the same range as an arm, so it's like five foot. How far away is uh, La Cornelia from me? <laughs> I'm right She's on the edge. Too I... far. Well, I She's scooted closer. No. Oh, did you? Well, I tried to scoot right on the edge. I actually really I did, to be honest. I'm still in the water. I didn't know where the edge was. <laughs> you gonna grab? I wanna grab her with my tail and pull her into the pool. So, so you grab her with faster. your tail and the, the force of her red light and your blue light pushes you back but pulls her forward and you both fall into the pool Ooh. as they uh, start to mix together and oh, form like a violet oh, it's indigo <laughs> color. I want to look in uh, Skid's eyes. <laughs> a moment happened. <laughs> did, we, did I just blur? Anyway, I'm in turn. Oh no, Go we've on. both fallen in. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. Kelly, what are you doing? Now I'm all wet. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm shooting oh, again. What? This is my fault. <laughs> Dirty 20. It's getting steamy in here. <laughs> Dirty 20. Oh my god. 17 points of damage. Okay, well, another one of the arms falls off, and you see the skull just kind of slowly like look at the stub that was an arm. <laughs> and look back. You did this to yourself, that? Almost, sir. Uh, yeah, like just this tired expression, you know. You know. Doesn't get paid enough for this. <laughs> I'll take my small amount of movement back toward the pool. You no know, more speeches. You can only try so hard <laughs> for so long. This is more official speeches for a, a skeleton for our, the, the players, I think. Just read uh, skeleton. There just comes a time in a man's life where he's got... <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, Rezik, what are you doing, anything? Uh... I just watched this very sad skeleton just kind of talking to himself, <laughs> motivating himself, no. trying to boost his own ego. I, I don't know what's going on, but uh, I'm an owl right now, so uh, I'm all good, baby. <laughs> yeah, guys, I don't know what's going on, but I'm an owl. <laughs> Cornelia, you see the light uh, shimmer in this violet manner. Poof, this light shoots out immediately. The orb goes completely still and almost seems to dissolve around you. Ooh. Same with the sapphire. It seems to just Let's dissolve into nothingness. Cute. And the torch uh, also. Where's that torch? There we go. That was easy. The skeleton <laughs> looks at you one last time, Kelwise. Just <laughs> right, right into your soul. And falls into a pile of bones. Uh. Oh, oh cowboys! Got him. <laughs> yeah. And something about, you know, that relentlessness stays with you, Kellwise. Just a little piece of it. Uh, it's maybe something to ponder over and unpack later. Hmm. 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 Huh. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you guys hear we're going two in? doors <gasps> open from the front of what looks like a massive cathedral. Well, can we... took ages. Can we see the said doors, or is there a giant wall of black flame yes. in between us and said doors? Uh, there's probably... Uh, how long does your firewall last? What a cool question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might be able to just stop it. it no, I'll one minute. Nix my one minute. minute, it's gone. Question. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to nix my spike. Solid question. Too. Okay. Are the skeletons gone? Oh, yeah, they would be, too, if anything. Skeletons all uh, either burned up. I'm just going to move you guys in front of the cathedral. Can we know what happened to them? Did they walk into the wall or? Uh, it does seem like one of the skeletons, there's like a pile of ash here because that other skeleton fell into a, a pile of bones. Uh, it seems like there's one of the skeletons here that's just a pile of ash 
as if it just walked through the fire and, and, and got disintegrated. What an idiot! <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hear me out. Before we go in, do we go look at the, the grave of Cinnabon? <laughs> it's so far away and my legs are so small. Rezik, you do it. I want to say it's the end of the world. We'll wait here. Rezik, just, just do a flyover. Yeah, Rezik, will you do that well, for us? He drives me into this. And why do I, I feel do. like I'm the only one... Who's trying to... I just don't want to be here anymore. Do you guys like being in places like this? Because I hate it. Listen, I don't like it either, but there's a chance that in the grave of Cinnabon, there's something that could be useful for us. It's the what, only like reason that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I don't know. Frosting. I, I don't. I have no idea. It could be a magical sword that deals 100 million damage to the no, bad guy. Who knows? Set this straight. You wouldn't slide down the stair rail to get here faster, but you will go right, like, <laughs> loot some random grave. Yeah. Resin, okay. can you just fly right, just over while floor. they're arguing? <laughs> then you'll be done. <laughs> take, take me. Um, yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I grab Kel eyes. <laughs> and I start heading over Are there. Wait, I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah, can I go over to Skid? I want to go over to do it. <laughs> I want to go over to Skid and be like, "Listen, Kelwise doesn't get a lot, so we when he's got something he wants to do, it's it's generally we like to let him do it because like usually doesn't even really kill things. This is like a yeah. big day for him. He's doing Seriously. so much. Does he not really know, like, is like the middle child of this group. Have. Did you not realize that he could be shooting at at least, like, 120 feet? Oh, no, <laughs> he does. He does. It's just that, like, a lot of times it doesn't hit. So, like, the, the <laughs> stuff with the the, the gun, uh... not the gun, um, the, the thing he was just doing was really... The boomstick. Yeah, that was really cool. And, um... So, yeah, like, he doesn't ask for a lot, basically, is all I'm saying. So when he's like, can I check this out? Then we're like, yeah! This is the like... sweetest thing Trust has ever said. <laughs> this is so, I love this. Kel is like, you know, we've been on, we've been on some adventures together, all teamed up. <laughs> so yeah, we just like, just let him do it. It's fine. He, he steers the ship. It's cool. All right. I mean, so I, <laughs> I fly as <laughs> fast as I can. <laughs> I fly as fast as I can to bring Kelwise over to this grave, and you just see a very like annoyed-looking owl flying a, a small halfling, a small hairy halfling like... over to a grave. I'm sorry, it'll it'll be quick, and I just hop off Is and grab any, my like... war pick and cheer as you're riding over there. <laughs> From me? Mm-hmm. No, no, I'm 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 contemplative. I I I okay. I took in that the skeleton was relentless and something in my mind made me think I should reflect on that. So I didn't really like cheer or anything, but you know, it, it's just doing due diligence. He's I just want to make like, sure there's okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah, got yeah, like okay. this determined look in his eyes, yeah. you know, with the hair going back as yeah. he's right in the owl. <laughs> Chest hair yeah. blowing in the wind. It feels a little bit like the ship, the flying ship, but not quite right. Yeah, with hair. a little bit more attitude. Wind in your sideburns. Yeah. And his chest hair is coming yeah. out. Gloriously chair. waving, like water. Connecting up with his head hair. <laughs> Down to his butt hair. All right. Uh, so you get to this grave. Um, and again, you see Cinnabon. What are you doing? You said you're taking I'm your pickaxe. Yeah, I, I figured there was a, a casket. I was going to break the, the, the casket open and sort of search the, the bones or whatever's left yeah. in the body. Yeah. You see a small, thin frame. Uh, maybe a halfling, maybe a gnome. Oh. Um, hard to tell if it's male or female. It's just been very, very old. But uh, clasped in their hands is like a little... What looks like a, almost like a velvet pouch. It's got a an insignia of a, of a, a rounded, like rectangle, 
and then an eye like sewn in it and this bag is very very nice and it's been very delicately um uh, sewn in there and, and you just get this immense feeling of, of energy coming from this uh, artifact of some sort um, and you when you look at the eye though it, it kind of it kind of gives you pause it's almost like the eye is staring at you daring you it, it, it gives you this tremendous sense of unease I look up at the owl. <laughs> <laughs> you you just see an expression of just like, what are we doing here, man? What are we doing? Yeah, and I grab it. <laughs> you grab it. All right, you grab you grab the velvet. Uh, it's like a little pouch. It's very small. It's maybe as big as your hand, uh, but it's been very. Um, well made and it's got this little uh you you turn it over in this velvet pouch it's almost like a slip uh like a holster of sorts and you look on the back and there's this small golden clasp you click it open and you look inside and it looks like there's this very uh elaborate set of what looks like maybe playing cards Oh. oh no, no 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 no! Back in, c c c click click <laughs> click! No, no! Into my into my into my belt pouch. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna mess with that. Yeah, but would tell us? Yeah. Jason wouldn't. Yeah. yeah. Does Kellys know what it is? Kellys, no, you've never no. seen anything like this before. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no is gonna idea. take it out of that bell pouch if you don't leave it. Um. <laughs> no, I'm 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 bringing it, but I don't want to pull any of any of the cards out at this time until uh, Ian Rezik yeah. is back and I can have a conversation with him. Because oh, this feels yeah, like magic. Talk. Yeah. This feels yeah. like magic to me, and I don't know much about magic. Yeah, James. Would, like I, would I have any idea as a as an arcane a I mean, studier you didn't really of the get arcane to see it. magics? You didn't get to really see it. He, I mean, he 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 broke it open, was kind of like <laughs> looking through it, and it seems like he kind of just opened it up and then dashed it pretty quickly. I don't think he would have gotten a good look, and and even then, I think this is something that is not written down in any books or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, I'm I'm kind of just like tapping my talent, and I'm just kind of a little bit like, oh man, come on, let's go, let's go, let's, let's go, bud. What yeah, you're right. You're right. Let's go. You're right. You're right. And I'll hop back on Al Rezik. Okay, you hop back on, and uh, you know Zoom. this fruitless journey might have been worth it for personal reasons, but um, crazy. Other than that, um, yeah, That's you know, you totally it's wasted everyone's time with this as you land back at the <laughs> entrance. <laughs> Fucking I nuts. I mean, had a nice chat know, with Skid. It's many things. Could be, could be anything. Really. So what happened, yeah. guys? What did you find? Uh, I found a beautiful, very well adorned pouch with a very fancy clasp on it, and in the inside is it looked like cards, looked like playing cards. Perfect game of poker. As soon as we're done here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm oh, down. I love like poker. Yeah, I played absolutely. in an age. Now I'll be happy to take your money. I just love the idea of us not knowing what that is and playing a game <laughs> of poker and absolutely ruining our lives. I mean, <laughs> technically, we wouldn't know, right? What? Like, I mean, that's like... It certainly doesn't know what that is. I mean, we need a short uh, I, mean, I might know, right? but... <laughs> yeah, I, if... Uh, it might be magic... I want to talk to Rezik about it, but he's an owl. So maybe at some point in time, he'll not be an owl again and, and we can have a, a conversation. But the poker can wait. Speaking of being an owl, James, uh, can I use my uh, keen hearing and sight to uh, try to perceive if there's any danger lurking inside this building or around us anywhere? Roll me a perception check. All right. I got advantage because I'm an owl. Sick. Let's see here. Roll me a perception sure, with advantage. Bro. Um, what's up? I'm just I'm just being dumb. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, the wisdom. Okay, so I got a I got a eighteen. 
18. It's eerily silent uh, in there, uh, save for this just a really low thrumming sound that seems to be coming from way deep back in this massive uh, church. Well, uh, do we go in? I look at Rezik. Uh, you can see inside. I kind of there's just slowly birdwalk. Torches. This thing is lit up like uh, the Fourth of July. It is bright in here. I, know I it will look like it. Because you guys are Rezik. All... Do you guys want me to peek in? I'm just gonna move you guys inside because I think oh. there's a a barrier that's not supposed to be there. There you go. That's what you see. Wow. Dang. Wow. Right, I thought the space was big on the outside. Wow. Damn. It's a big inside, too. Bigger on the inside. Is this just one floor here, or do we see lofts or, or multiple levels here? There are multiple levels uh, here and there. There's, like, these little um, pews and such. Uh, and, and little walkways with small little rooms. It looks like this might have been, um, from what Rezik had told you, this this place was built to be like a bunker. It was like a bastion at one point, maybe one of the only bastions in Aventide against something. Uh, hence why the out, outer parts of the castle were so fortified, uh, though they were maybe later adorned and decorated. Uh, initially, it was just this ma massive bunker, and so this almost looks like a like an abbey more than uh, a singular church. So you see lots of rooms and doors, uh, some things that could have been dormitories. As you walk just down these massive halls, uh, you see things that could have been kitchens or storage areas or uh, classrooms and things like that. Um, this looks like it was an entire like a town in maybe one building in and of itself. A lot of the decorations here too, uh, uh, maybe Rezik you would know and maybe trust if you've seen stuff like a lot of the designs and stuff seem foreign or, or very, very old. None of this stuff seems modern at all. None of the architecture, none of the like uh, some of the, the walls have like embroidered uh, tapestries and such um, that seem to be decorated, uh, some depicting things that you've never uh, seen before, like almost like crests and things that are like um, displayed over and over again uh, as if they were commonplace, but you've never seen them before. Rizek? Hoot. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna stride forward. I, I, you're the most uh, leadery of this Disposable. bunch. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh... Team, you know, <laughs> you, if Dresden was here, he'd probably go first, but he's not, and you're next. <laughs> Uh, I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll fly up and kind of do like a little bit of like a, a circle through the room and kind of explore a bit. Try okay. to see what I see. Uh, there's any enemies or any there's, there's traps a, there's a or lot, anything? Um, there's a lot of like um, what look like um, cross beams and decorations and such like that. So it's not a, a terribly easy place to fly. So you kind of uh, haphazardly kind of fly around and it, and it seems very empty at least in the, the, the front half that you're in. Um, there are, like, stairs leading downward. What looks like uh, the stairs have quite a bit of, like, um, dust and such. Uh, very, very different from the rest of the, of the top floor as if they, they just haven't been traversed in a very long time. Uh, but that's all you can kind of see from this area. Uh, yeah, I'll just, um, I guess I'll just do like a loop and then I'll return and just kind of give a, a look of like nothing, nothing around. Could, couldn't find anything. Just kind of a, yeah. But in the very, very back, uh, you can still hear that thrumming coming from way, way back. 
and you could see like a series of like maybe 50 pews uh, and chairs uh, towards the front that looks like maybe someone could have given a sermon or, or like the main central church or a meeting area. Um, but that's kind of all you can see from this far. Um, should we, you know, head in? Oh, I guess. Yeah, you know, yeah. I was expecting a welcome party. Like, I mean, a skeleton welcome party. They were out there. I figured there was probably going to be something in here. They're all well, there thing. might still be something in here. So just, you know, be careful. But if I just thought if the doors opened, if there was a big bad in here and for lack of a better term, they might uh, come to us. I could shout for a big bad if you want. I really want to. Now that you said that. <laughs> the owl is shaking his head. Oh. I think he wants to well, fly away. Walk in. And yeah. Just, let's just move forward with caution. Okay. I'm going to move yeah. forward with caution. I'm going against go... many of my instincts. Uh, I, I want to see what the statue is. Yeah, let's go okay. check out that statue. That is a, such a good idea, Skid. No one needed a, a, a short or a long rest before we went anywhere, just out short of curiosity. Rest ain't gonna help me none. Yes. <laughs> well, as far as long rests go, you know that uh, there's Not a, a long war rest, I guess. going yeah. on there's outside, no and they're <laughs> they're still sleepy. like they're still trying to fight the the armies uh, to. So you can take a long rest. Oh. You just know that that is going on. Well, is anybody is anybody yeah, like hurting really bad or has a lot of or needs some spell slots and needs to do a short rest? Because if not, then I'm okay. Okay. yeah, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I'm fine. Yeah, I was just making sure. Um, if I cast we have message, health potions, hold on. Yeah. Can I talk? Have health to... Oh, we do have health potions. Yeah, actually, it's a good point. If I cast message, can I talk to Resic and he can no. still not? Yeah. Because that's telepathic. Sure. You know, I, at this point, I think that we don't even need to, need to be an owl anymore, honestly, right? Because we're, we're like, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I stay an owl? I don't know. It seems sort of enclosed. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll drop it at this point. It's, it, I don't think it's going to help us. Um, so, yeah, I'll just uh, turn back into myself and be like, oh, okay. Um, good job, everybody. That was really good teamwork out there. Um, yeah, let's let's just explore a bit and do some investigation before we kind of call out the big bad, um, I think, right? Just um, get our... Do you need uh, a health potion, Skid? I certainly wouldn't turn one down. Um, I'll give you... I'll give Skid... Is, a regu is just a regular potion of healing okay, or do you need something more? Uh, it's fine. Okay, I'll give you a potion of healing! And how much does that do? It is a two... D4 plus two. Well, by the way, before you use that, I do have um, some scrolls of, like, healing scrolls I can use. Uh, and since we're all kind of, like, grouped up right now, I can use a mass healing scroll if you want. Not, I'm not injured at all. I think I'm oh, the okay. only one who really took any damage. Yeah. Oh, all right. Okay. D4 plus two? Two D4 plus two! That's yeah, strange, gang. Um... Looking around, none of this looks familiar to me at all, and I, I grew up here and I studied um, several uh, ancient texts uh, when I was going to school, so <clears throat> this is very foreign for some reason. Is there anything, uh, is there like a plaque on the statue to read? There's no plaque, but it depicts a, a woman uh, holding a, a book in her hands it looks like a very official tome it's large she's draped in these uh long robes and and in her hand she seems to be holding what looks like uh a planet of sorts like an orb oh is this like an image of uh, lady mayan maybe probably possibly yeah does the planet look like before or after the shattering if we would know that i mean I don't know. hard to tell i mean it would be hard for you to even tell that it was a planet. It it's kind mm -hmm. of just like an orb with like um, different uh, markings and, and carvings down the side. It's like it's like not like super detailed. No. The okay. It seems like almost stylistically, not. Uh, 
detailed in that way. It does seem right. like it's been crafted quite well, but like with a very stylistic touch to it. Well, uh, yeah, I'll just lead us a little bit deeper in, and um, as we go, try to just, if I see anything at all, I'm just trying to figure out if I can recognize anything, like any uh, we... pictures that we see or any text at all or markings. Should we go down the stairs or keep moving forward? I'd vote for forward. I would also say forward. Okay. As you guys start to approach, you see there's a humanoid sitting on what looks like a, 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 a large table facing away from you. Uh, what looks like a very fancy looking dark blue coat with a huge uh, kind of collar sitting just facing away from you. Have we seen this uh, coat before? Uh, it might so be familiar. Um, it's not really, uh... Oops. I did that earlier and I was like... Let's see. No, this wouldn't be something you've seen before. Uh, but you do have, like, a, a sense about this, this, this aura. And, uh, as you guys kind of approach and get, get to about halfway down the pews... You hear a voice, a very familiar voice, as a man spins, holding a golden chalice filled with some kind of uh, dark red wine or something. Um, and this is Dresden with a scar down his face looks at you. Yep. Ah, you finally made it here. I knew you would. He takes a big sip as this... It looks like a droplet, a blood red droplet runs down his mouth. And that's what we'll pick up next time. Mother. Like around. Who's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> this is our friend. We're joining forces with him. <laughs> Shoot first, ask questions yeah, later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Well, uh, yeah, I guess that wasn't like a super <laughs> exciting <laughs> end, but you know, well, because we defeated your puzzle. Defe it's not a super exciting end. It's Deus. Hello. I know. We made colors. Yeah. We made colors. That is the coolest ending. I always, I always go back and forth. I'm like, are puzzles fun or are puzzles annoying? Yes. I, I understand. Fun. Yeah, they're fun. That this puzzle was a, a, a bit more obnoxious. I didn't expect the distance to be such a. No, it was fine. No. It was fun. We had you mitigated it well. There, there are there are puzzles that are. are, are uh, there were there were some design flaws that I would rectify next time if I use this puzzle again. But I always wonder. Some groups I I know are just like I don't care. I just. Uh, I'm gonna take my axe. I'm just gonna keep hitting this door until I knock the door down. Okay? I don't care if I die. I don't care if I set off all the traps. I'm just gonna hit this door, okay? Yes. And you're like, uh, okay. That was uh, my vote. You, you solved the trap. <laughs> I hit the water yeah. until it's gone. Yeah. Keep ringing the doorbell. <laughs> like in, in Boulder's Gate the other day, there's that there's this like this um one path with like flames going down it. But then there's like it's like and it goes down to like a lower platform. I just jumped down to the lower platform and took like 30 HP of damage, but I was like, dad, screw it. I'm that's just easier. <laughs> <laughs> right. Put down a potion. I didn't know that you could just throw potions and heal your whole party by throwing them at the ground. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Which is like, this is cheating. This feels like cheating. So many players are going to start asking for, for, for that from now on. And, and, uh, just like, and like, can I just throw it? Don't you have to drink the potion? You should have to drink the potion. <laughs> does no one think that like it, it getting absorbed through your feet doesn't really? It's yeah. magic. Oh, I guess so. I know. But see, that's my problem. Like you start saying like, well, it's a world where you could turn into a dragon. It's like, well, then anything <laughs> you could say, literally. Anything, I know there still need right? to be rules. I get it. I get it. You can run faster than a horse, but they're dragons. 
<laughs> he has complained about that like so many times, and I'm like, dude. It's the most oh my goodness. basic of basics. Humans shouldn't be faster than clop clops in Aventide. All right? Maybe humans. Cornelius what is about... not a human. What if you're not a human? <coughs> yeah, I'm a I'm heron a gnome. gnome. Okay. Tiefling, succubus. You're, yeah. you're not faster than a horse, though. Uh, Dude, it was pretty fast. <laughs> I, I mean, that was pretty crazy pretty fast. Like, imagine, okay, Up relative to size. Like oh, yeah? Up could go over 120. I, have, I think that's. Yeah. 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 But that was with your. That was with the, like. Oh, no. Yeah. Is a bonus. Yeah. Bonus. It's, so I could have action staff. Yeah, Thank you, everyone, for bonus. hanging out tonight. I really appreciate it. We well, could go on and to go. And I, I could blood complain, is boiling. I could complain uh, forever. Uh, thank you for We know. Um, we're going to be back next week at 7 p.m. Pacific if you want to come hang out and uh, find out who this Deus person is. Because if you haven't been watching for 113 episodes, you probably don't know. Uh, so. I forgot uh, to. We'll find out. Yeah. No, they don't even know. Pup could go 150 uh, in one action. Wow, that's crazy. So you're 50% wow. faster than a horse. Great. great, great, great. We'll see you next week, everyone. Please take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a wonderful <laughs> week. And we'll see you next time on Minus One Charisma. Good night, everybody. And that's why I killed Pup.